G'day and welcome into a new campaign playing as the Valiags of Cand in Divide and Conquer Total War, mod for Medieval 2. And, uh, oh, the horse archers. The horse archers. We're gonna, we're gonna do some fun stuff with horse archer generals. Um, so, that is the hope. Uh, I haven't played Cand before. I've heard many things though. So I've got a little bit of information about uh, what what lies ahead, which, from what I've heard, is is uh, is difficult. So we're going to have some fun with that. Let's have a read about what we have. So we are the Valiags of Canned. Our leader is Khan, Canned or Khan, Khan, Khan Arkish. This is Khan, isn't it? Khan Arkish. So it would be Khan. However, it kind of looks like Hand. So Canned. I mean, I guess maybe if we're doing well, it's Canned, and if we're doing poorly, it's Khan. Little joke to start off the day. Uh, our leader is Khan Arkish. Heir is Warlord Orash, and our capital is Stilertha Khan. Many of the Wayne Riders now passed south of Mordor and made alliance with men of Khan and near Harad. And in this great assault from north and south, Gondor came near to destruction. Khan's history with Gondor and its neighbors. Starting location: the Variags start nestled in sleepy eastern regions of Middle Earth. With a few small settlements. Sleepy. I like the sound of this. Sleepy eastern regions. This is nice. The Gap of Khan provides a choke point to the north, but to the southwest lies the vast wastes of near Harad. Early game to the north is the nation of Lun. To the southwest lie the holdings of the Haradrim and Mordor are to the west. The latter two start as allies of Valiags, but Lun are neutral. Although not at war with anyone at the start, their nearest law accurate enemies are Gondor to the far west and Dale to the north. The Valiags have very little choice at the start of the game. There are a few rebel settlements to the immediate south, but once those are claimed, they'll have to push through one of the three allied lands to reach any battlefront. However, a cunning player can always bring the battle lines closer with a well-timed stab in the back of their closest. Now, I don't think this is going to be a problem for us because we are going to go good Khan. We're going to go blue wizards. So, um, we're going to have plenty of enemies. All those so-called allies... <laughs> They're going to quickly turn into enemies. Khan from Khan, like Austral from Australia. Austral, Khan, Khan, Os, Ant, Oh, 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 Ka, Ah, 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 Ka, Oh, Oh, Corn, 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 Well, that was neither of my options. <laughs> Oh, oh, os, oh, oh, corn, oh, on, GG. <laughs> Military overview. As this is to be expected of a step nation, the Varags have excellent cavalry with a wide choice of units and the finest cavalry archers. Their excellence and reliance on cavalry leaves them wanting for foot infantry and foot archers, however, which is where the special feature, the blue wizards come in and we get, we get dwarves. So, uh, that's, that's going to be hopefully shore up our foot infantry situation. Our rare units, the Storm Riders, which I believe is a uh, chariot unit, I think. And Orokani Dwarves. And of course, if you go the other way, reject the blue wizards, you get Great Beasts and Dark Numenorians. Can I challenge you to make wizards faction leader and faction heir? I mean, that would mean my faction leader and faction heir would, would have to, um, would have to die. I don't want to, the, 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 the blue wizards will are starry they have no they have no desire to to lead they will simply help destroy evil um <laughs> very confused by what i just said <laughs> this is hard mode okay good that's what i like to hear i like i like hard mode i like hard mode brisbane baron um this is what i like to hear notable units the wind riders now they are the fastest cabin in the game they are very quick. I think 140% movement speed, something to that effect. Uh, they are decent cab, but they're kind of like tier two, like tier two cab. Very good at like charging down archers, you know, because they won't even have a chance to get off a volley before they get closed in on. Warlords, cataphrats, and warlords, cataphrat archers are just very heavy cab. So heavy, heavy uh, melee cab, heavy cab archers, which are pretty decent in, in melee afterwards. Cavalry focus faction, strong cavalry archers, safe starting domain, which is. We'll be safe for a little bit, and then we're going to be going not safe anymore. Blue Wizard's Choice, 
Very hard, very hard. Manual cities. Long victory conditions. Hold 40 regions. It's a neutral faction, so there are no particular places we have to hold. It's just 40 regions. It happens to the AI quite often, making them the faction leader. Yeah, well, I'm not the AI. You'd hope... It's a bit of a... <laughs> you hope I'm better than the AI. Right, we're on the right faction. And one last look at our faction leader. And, uh... And let's get into it. So, from what I know, from what I've heard, seen, from live streams and, and YouTube comments, there is, if you take the Blue Wizard's choice, which happens somewhere around, uh, I don't think it'd be before turn 40, but maybe, I don't know. I think it would be after the, the Dwarven choice, the Blue, the Blue Mountains Dwarves, but probably not that far after them. Um, I imagine it's the same time that the AI gets to make the choice. So it's around, I don't know whether there's an exact turn or it's like a range of turns. Maybe it's like a range of turns it can happen in. So I know that's the same with the, the dwarves. Um, so around turn 40, and as I said, from what I've heard, your, your settlement's just all like, I don't know, like rebel or have like scripted attacks, I'm guessing, something along those lines. Um... So, and I know from what happens with the AI, the AI gets hit in their capital with like the Inquisitor. So I'm guessing the Inquisitor sends like a, a Mordor Doomstack towards the capital as well. Um, so basically by turn 40-ish around then, uh, this is not, this is just, uh, I think this is just... A sort of flair, a little bit of lore. Um, I won't read through that, but I will read through... Yeah, this is script. Let's see it here. In the darkness before dawn, the wind blew across the empty plains of the westernmost reaches of Cand, the plains themselves lying far in the east of Middle-earth, empty except for a small camp marked by the banners of the shadow. And then the sun rose. As it rose, sounds pierced the silence of the landscape. Hooves! resounding across the steps and clanging of metal against itself and the blowing of flags in the wind. And then the horde came in sight. Thousands upon thousands of people and horses, each bearing colourful flags. And within the horde could be seen numerous different groups, unified in their choice of arms, colour and flag. And within its head rode the leader of this vast force. Rode its leader. <laughs> Ken Arkish. Lord of the Eastern Domains and Commander of the Many Houses of Khand. <laughs> Loyal to the true Emperor, Marcus Aurelius. That's kind of what made me think of there. Uh, and to meet him rode the Emissary of the Shadow, the Lieutenant of Barador himself, the mouth of Sauron, departing from his camp. Welcome in Tetra. And so, the two met, and Arkish, for all his might, bowed to the Emissary. Who then thus greeted him? The Dark Lord bids you welcome to Middle Earth, Arkish of Cand. He is pleased that you have been able to gather such a force and travel from your seat far in the east to where we now stand with such speed. With your arrival, we grow closer to the glorious day when we shall crush the weak willed fools of the West. For even now, the marshal he marshals our allies in both Harad and, K and Rune, and together we shall smite. The descendants of those who once conquered you and crushed their legacy. However, our Lord had bid me to offer you a choice. Near to us lies the camp of Stilutha Khand, as a local center of power for the Western clans. Your speed was unforeseen, and if you were to attack now, it would be without the might of Harad and Rune. As such, we offer you Stilutha Khand and ask for you to consolidate your power among these lands and prepare for a concerted attack. However, our master does not compel you to remain. If you wish to continue and feel confident in your force, you are welcome to proceed, in which case you will be allowed the use of both the great beasts and the legions of the temple to aid you in your conquest. Make your decision. Do you wish to continue into Middle Earth and conquer the free peoples or remain here to consolidate your power? 
Select whether you would like Can to begin as a horde, able to conquer wherever you please. Selecting the green tick will enable your horde start locking you to the Mordor route of Can's Blue Wizard script. Well, we don't want to do that. Clicking the red cross will grant you Stirth account and allow you to play through the Can campaign as normal, including the full Blue Wizard script, allowing you to decide what, between Mordor and the Blue Wizards later in the campaign. Let me just read that again. Clicking the red cross will allow you to play including the blue wizard script. Okay, so we're going red cross, decline. Lovely to see you, Doofy. Um, Amon, I kind of want to try playing a horde can and just attack Condor immediately. <laughs> Might do that next. Welcome in, Silence X43. Welcome in. Okay, so before we go any further, can we just check out settings? Uh, let's make sure music needs to be up just a touch. You know, you can tell I'm just, just like things the way at 90 there we go okay so as I always do on the kind of like a first episode we kind of run through the faction do a little like a mini faction overview and then and then get on into it so let's have a look at our faction information uh, where men of the East or nomadic I guess that might depend on uniquely count can switch to a nomadic culture forsaking Sauron in favor of their local traditions and faiths. Yeah, so if we go with the blue wizards, I guess we'll go to nomadic. Okay, special features, the blue wizards. To the east of Middle-earth are the heartlands of Khand, and there are rumors that some clans have turned against Sauron, led by the blue wizards. This decision will sometime, will eventually present itself to the main horde of Khand sometime after the beginning of the game, and they must decide whether to forsake their Dark Lord or not. Remaining loyal to Sauron will allow them to recruit Mordor's temple units, and muster the great beasts in their capitals, Stilethakan, and key Numenorean and Elven regions. Whereas, rebelling against Sauron in favour of the Blue Wizards will allow them to muster the Orokani Dwarves in their native homelands on the eastern edge of the map, and the Ush... 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 Ushishia... Ushishia... Stormriders. Attacking Sauron before this choice presents itself will align Khan with the Blue Wizards and trigger the script early. Okay. Welcome in, uh, Baron Killer. Okay, so we, we don't want to trigger it early. <laughs> Building limitations, we have access to level 1 to 3 armor. I wonder if going with the dwarves gives us an extra armor tier. Um, it doesn't say it here anywhere, but it kind of... Um, I wonder if... yeah. Don't th I don't think we do. But, I don't know, maybe we'll be surprised. We could be pleasantly surprised. Now, what can we do with the ring? Because... If Can rebels against Sauron, they will also be able to destroy the ring instead. Ah, so we can do either. I guess once we rebel, the choice is made. But I mean, imagine getting the ring and having to get it to Imladris <laughs> from all the way down here. It's traveling across the precious full length of the map. Uh, that'd be a trip in itself. And then we'd have to get it back to Mordor. I mean, I don't think we need to worry about the ring because I feel like... I feel like we're kind of on Mordor's doorstep and we might make some swift strikes against Mordor once things kick off in earnest. Uh, let's have a look at our our building roster. So we got standard walls, barracks, siege. Where's my stables? Blacksmiths? Horse Breeders Guild? Where's my stables? Barracks? Ah. Uh I just have one I just have one recruitment center and I get infantry and cavalry from from the one building oh that is nice oh that is that is very nice all in one Brisbane brand that's right imagine getting the ring then the blue wizard script kicks off a few turns after yeah um, so these are our Warlord Cat. I mean, look at them. They're going to be pretty nice to get. Warlord Cat of Red Archers, Warlord's Guard. So they're, they're our elite tier. Then we got Varag Bowman. Varag Swordman is like mid tier. And then we've got Absolute Trash. Nomad Warriors, Nomad Axemen, Baloon Hunters. Actually, they're pretty good, Baloon Hunters. And then we got some Lighter Cav, Varag Lancers. They actually look pretty good. Yeah, they're, they're decent units. The Wind Riders, they're the 140% movement speed, very, very fast. Uh, some standard Horse Archers, pretty decent tier. 
34 missiles, 134 range, high accuracy, they're very good. Uh, and then some Nomad Horsemen and Balloon Raiders. Even the Balloon Raiders are pretty good horse archers. So all in one, that's pretty insane. Uh, blacksmiths, just tier three. In fact, what was the requirements? Meeting hall, great hall, blacksmith. Okay, so we need blacksmiths to get top tier anyway. Uh, yep, standard guild house. We've got two, two tiers of ports, but no, no boats. Okay, standard marketplace, only two tiers of roads, standard uh, fields, standard livestock farming. It's nice that we get that as well. Mines. Oh, oh that looks like decent mines. Warriors Guild is the one we'll probably be looking for. Weapon, we melee weapon bonus. We don't really need this. We'll have plenty of cav available. Well, that does give horse archers. Ah, you're not going to get this one. The Imperial Stables. Dark Shrines. I guess that's if we stay with Mordor. Entertainment. Town Halls. Ah, we should give a Step Tribesman. Oh, these are our true trash. Step Tribesman, Step Archers, and Marauders. <laughs> okay. Okay, so we got, we got utter trash here. Garrisons. So Inquisition, that's if we go with Sauron. Temple Wards, Temple Marksman, Great Beast. Recruitment slots three. Uh, can we get, see what we get here? Oh, Orokani Clan Hall. This is. Stiff Beard Archers, Stiff Beard Spearmen. Orokani Warriors? I've never seen them before. I've seen the Iron Fist Hammers and the Black Lock Engineers. They must be just available for Can. You don't get them as Erebor. That's cool. That's very nice. So they're like, uh, are they effective against armor? No, just excellent stammer. So just sword and board, uh, 9, 4, 21. So just a frontline dwarf infantry unit. Wow. Wow. Okay, so you have the strength of cans. If the strength of cans cav with the with the sturdiness of a frontline of, of dwarves. Oh, having played Mordor, Marauders have some value. Oh, yeah. Um, cav is still cav, right? Cav is still cav. Um, right. Is there anything else here? Oh, nomadic temples. So this must be what you get if you go, yeah, what we're going to do. Blue wizards. So culture, population. You still get population growth. Morale, public order. Okay. That's fine. Right. So the way I'm seeing this campaign is right now, I think there's a bit of thought needs to go into this. Right now we are allied to Harad, Rune, and Mordor. We got trade with all of them. So we are completely surrounded by allies. I think once turn two kicks off, Harad will get a lot of this as the auto expand. And we'll have to see what's left. I'm hoping there's a settlement here. I'm hoping that Harad doesn't get. So I want to be able to take something. I wonder if they'll get this one here. And then there's one all the way down in the bottom here, um, which I'm pretty sure they shouldn't get as an auto expand. No, they wouldn't definitely wouldn't get that as an auto expand. So hoping for at least two maybe more settlements have to see if they get it all in the auto expand um and then i think it's a macro game we got like 40 turns to to get ourselves set up the anvil of the dwarves the hammer of can yeah absolutely it's it sounds it sounds on paper really good i think we've got 40 turns to get ourselves prepped basically um and then it's and then it's on for young and old, basically. I think is is what happens because not only do we get by rebe hit by rebellions, but when we choose the blue wizards, I believe Rune, Mordor, and Harad will all declare war as well. So then then it's on for young and old. Does anyone know if Harad gets a larger auto expand if you play as canned or maybe more free units? I think they do generally. That um, it does change a little bit. I know I don't know specifically for Harad, but I think. Some factions do get better, better um, auto expands or more units based on who the player is. All right, let's have a look. So, we've got four thousand five hundred gold. How much do these guys cost? Yes, noble master. How much do these guys cost? Two seventy five gold. Ooh, some mercenaries here. Okay, two seventy five gold. Which means, if I do this, that's plus two seventy five gold in two turns. I think that's the go. Plus 275 gold. Same thing here. Yep. And this will give me access to those trashed here. Plus 275 gold. What about over here? Oh, he's not going to be f 71. That's the uh, faction ad. That's the Windriders one. The Windriders custom bodyguard. 
Uh, okay, so those two. What about Ammon Can? Yep, another one here. So plus 275 gold. And we got our faction leader here. I believe the faction leader is just a, uh, a standard bodyguard, but I think he gets obviously more because he's the faction leader. Um, I guess we go Mason's Hall. Now, taxes. As I said, this is a macro game, I think. This is this is a lot of macro early. Um, can I get over here? Nothing. So, so I, I've heard it's hard that your settlements get hit by these rebellions. So if settlements are getting hit by rebellions, I think we need walls. This place doesn't have any walls. Does everyone else have walls? Walls, 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 walls. Okay. So it's just this one. So this one needs to grow. So we need to go low taxes here. We go low taxes. Okay, get that one growing. But everywhere else, I think we need to just eke out as much money as we can. And I know long term, we, we need we need short term gains right now. Uh, that's not unhappy. High taxes. We'll get up a little bit more yet. Yeah, just eke out as much cash as we can because we need. You're only making thirteen hundred. We're gonna need money. Welcome in our Tauros. Hello, hello. Uh, you are also going to be pretty important because we're going to need money from pretty much everyone we can sell map information to. Um, I reckon go to Mordor and then we can kind of string up to Camp of uh, Darun, Darwinian. Once you get your diplomat around this region, there's always lots of missions because you get Dale, Erebor, Woodland Realm, Anduin, um, Dolgador, kind of all in that region. So I think we want to send the diplomat north. There's a settlement like here somewhere, right? As you will. Go to there. Um, and then 550 gold. Could get a spy? How much? 100 upkeep. Now we can't afford that. We, we, are, we are. Everything needs to go in. I'm not, I don't even think I'm going to build towers. Not even going to build, build vision towers. So we want to go try and take the settlement down here somewhere. It's somewhere in this vicinity because it's like. Yeah, like here somewhere. So I think. Oh, this is actually some good units. Barrack Bowman, Swordsman, two Baroon Rays. Actually, that's a nice Orders. force. How may so I if serve? all of them... This is neutral currently. Head... Uh, like somewhere down here. Where's... Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's like... It must be the, the, the lines leveling out, I think. So like... Must be a road. Yeah, like there. So go to there. The sun sets on today's uh, you go with them. Orders. I will just leave him for free upkeep. So they're going to go do some work. Judging by the title, you're going to side with the free people when the dilemma hits. Yes, I am. We're going to go. We're going to go with the free people. We're going to be good. To hell with the evil campaigns. We're going good. Um, <laughs> we need. We need some good here. I'm, I'm tired of playing evil factions. Uh, okay, so we have an archer here. So we want to get this down here, don't we? Hmm. Where's... So you're not free upkeep. So there's no point in leaving you there. Because that's just... I mean, that's just burned a hole in my pocket, right? Noble one. Like, what are you costing me per turn? 415. Yeah, so that's just that's just burned a hole in my pocket. So he can't stay there. There is a fort. I can fort him and just save 415 gold. That seems... That seems pretty good, actually. That seems pretty good. I mean, who actually plays Evil Kent? <laughs> as a bit of a change i guess um 415 gold just to put him in the fort that's a lot of saved money like realistically hang on do i have any other units so i need some troops to go down and take this settlement so i've got some here do i have any freeze i got a couple of free units around the place um Hmm. How may I serve? I think go here for now. That's just too much money we need to save right now. So you go to here. And that's all the what? Oh, I guess cuz I moved. Yeah, I moved all these troops out. So that's going to need to be saving money. Do something to save money. 
That's 415 gold saved. Then I want you to come this way, right? You're going to be going down here somewhere. Is there a crossing? There's a crossing. Okay. So go down here. You're going to link up with... Oh, there's a road here. That's nice. You go over here. Now we got to... Oh, okay. I can't do high taxes with that. Go low. Go medium. Um... Fort there, fort there. Is there a fort down here somewhere? Like I I'm so barely am in this part of the map, but it's definitely one further over here. Is one here somewhere, and then is there one just here? Or... Where's my cab? He's not free upkeep anywhere. Let's go see if we can find a fort. Uh, where's the down this way? That's where we're going. Yeah, just, just don't go too fast. We move. So, are we on a road here? Yeah, we are. Go and follow the road. We march. We move. We march. Oh, there it is. Oh, I almost missed it. Um. Okay, so we got a fort there. I thought there was. I thought it was further down, but that's actually really good. That means it's almost in range to get. How may I serve? Okay, so if all of you gather there. How may I serve? That's the go. Fort identified. Um, oh, you're just out of range. You, who does that? Why not put the fort just here? Like what? what uh. How may I serve? Okay, so Order. go to there, and that's that's saving cash, right? Yeah, two hundred forty-five gold. You go to there as well. I think you just stay here for now because you're going to be governing and get more taxes because you're here. Um. Oh, yeah. Your win. Don't... Oh, hang on. Can't have those taxes so high without him there. So I think that's everything we can possibly do on turn one. We're not building anything here, but we can't afford it. Could grab, like, a marauder or a unit. Kind of... I want to get buildings going. I think buildings are the key here. So I think this is a macro game. Early. And we just have to... Like, we've got 40 turns to prepare. It's kind of like, a, you know, when was it? Used to play Age of Empires. I think that's turn one. Used to play Age of Empires 3, I remember. And you could set it as, um... It was like a delayed... It was like a treaty start. And you could have, like, 20 minutes to, to prepare. And then uh, no one could attack in, like, 20 minutes. And then you'd, uh... Then everyone could start attacking each other. That was fun. That was fun for me when I was young, you know. It'd be fun for me when I'm old now as well. <laughs> I'd need it. No, no one's allowed to raid me. No attacking for <laughs> for at least 20 minutes. Give me a chance. I can't click fast, you know. Uh, yes, of course. Why would you ever, like, say no, right? Because there's no traits attached to this. It's like, yes, of course I would like to extend the, the faction tree. Orders. How Get on I it. Serve? Okay. I'm a little bit concerned by the lack of vision I'm getting there. Okay, so they should both get in there next turn. That's another 150, 165, so over 300 gold. Oh, we're just barely, we're not pulling even right now. We're still very much just holding. Get up there. Okay, you, where, oh, how come you lost your movement? I figured out where it was. Where's the road? There? That looks like a road there, because every yeah, that's they're going straight along or well, there? No, no, there. There's the road. They come to there. We march. There we go, here it is. Road. Orders as you will. So this is Harad's auto expand. Time to build an army to conquer the deserts. I don't think there's much to conquer. Like, I guess there's here. But I've used my army to go back this way. Uh this is Harad. I guess we'll find out soon enough whether this is Harad. This has stayed neutral. And then we're bordering Mordor and Rune to the north. So there's not that much territory. Orders. So we're going to burn through a few turns here, I think. I'm not building an army with 700 gold, I can tell you that much. Uh, Ford still can't afford anything here, can I? 
Mason's Hall. No. Oh. Welcome in, everyone. Welcome into the stream. Glad you could join me today. Um, I'm I'm excited for a good campaign, and I'm excited to have some dwarves. And I think for a long time, I kind of forgot that this was a dwarven campaign. <laughs> I kind of forgot that that was uh, what what you could get here. So once I remembered that, it was like, oh, hang on a second, we get we get dwarves. That's cool. Okay, excellent. So look at the goal we made just from getting that free upkeep. That's that's a huge huge benefit. Orders. Can you come along this road? Well, there are mercenaries here. We march. Are there the same mercenaries available up there? Okay, now. I, I guess if there's too much in this settlement, I go back and recruit mercenaries. But I don't want to recruit them if I don't need them. So can I like scout ahead? Maybe. I serve? Orders. We move. Well, I mean they died arrows. <laughs> that's that's a that's a positive. Every time you get a marriage opportunity, get get a thing and make me more generals bodyguards that's right that's absolutely right Avon. you could also go farther west but gondor is also there of course um yeah i think i think the plan is actually turtle i mean this one this one's gonna get probably taken by someone pretty quick but yeah you could you could go this way i think if you took your, this starting army and went this way maybe you could just get this settlement around here somewhere um but i kind of don't want to be stretched that thin I see what happens to AI can when they do that and they just get picked off by Harad because they're too they don't have a a battle line. They've just got multiple settlements on the front. I don't think we're attacking the settlement. I think we we'll have to siege it out five turns. I don't think we'll need more. I mean, surely they're not all Hashara units, right? <laughs> right? Surely they're not all Hashara units. They're not gonna tell me any more information. Okay. Uh, we can go back and get mercenaries if we need it, but let's let's just siege up. Um, I'll just grab a ram, just in case. But I don't think we're gonna go in here. Not even two Hashari. I mean, yeah, we know, we're not exactly good at going into a settlement. We'll we'll let them come out. That's fine. Five turns on that one. As the diplomat, keep moving. As you will. Resting here. And then you two get in here. How may I serve? Right, how much money are we making next turn? Okay, we're making 1,500 gold. That's good. Fairly certain I've taken that castle with one unit of uh, Black Snake Guard. So that was the faction leader. Yeah. Yeah, I don't have any faction leaders here. I think that should be okay. I don't think we need mercenaries. We got we got three units of cavs, so, you know, cavs are very strong. Right, so what do we build next? I'm thinking we go... Mason's Halls. Because, you know, that's always the choice. Particularly if we are hard turtling, which is what we're going to do here. Um, hmm. This one, I want to get to a town so we can get walls. We probably prioritize here. And then, honestly, just, just queue them up. Just queue them up. That's what we're going to be doing. We have a little bit of gold. Get them going. Yes, he saved me money. Just sit there. Yes, Just sir. sit there. Um, yeah, we need a few turns of... Like, I could move these guys out, maybe send the faction leader and come down here and take the settlement right now. But like, I, need, I need to get structures happening. I can't just be losing cash constantly. So let's see. I should also probably do a save. Um... I guess it auto saves all the time, but that'd be fine. We'll do a save when we get to our first battle. Yeah, Q stalled. I got it. I got it. Um, go up to here. I mean, I'd love to get a mission to take. One of these rebel settlements as well. I'm surprised I actually haven't. Normally you get missions pretty quickly to take settlements. Particularly if they're rebels. 
I've got no more spare troops around, have I? It's just this one here, but yeah, he's holding public order for free. No more spares anywhere, do I? Okay. Also, when I've been clicking around, I've kind of noticed something. Mines? 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 I feel like we're gonna be we're gonna be digging, you know. Yes, my I feel master. like that's the. I feel like that's the strategy. We're gonna we're gonna dig a little bit. Go full lemmings, you know. And more to come. More mines. What? That's why the dwarves will arrive. Yeah, because they love all the mines. That's right. They, we're going to win them over. Building mines if only you had some dwarves. I've heard they're good at that. feel like you guys are trying to send me a cryptic message here. Do I get like an extra tier of mines with the dwarves? Don't tell me. Do I get a tier 3 mining? I'd take that over an armor upgrade. Oh, that would be... That would be really nice. <laughs> don't don't dangle the dream and take it away. <laughs> don't, don't dangle the dream and take it away. Okay, um, so here we want growth. We're low taxes. Um, I think a key part of our strategy is going to get in garrisons everywhere as well. I don't want a public fountain first because that gives growth, doesn't it? Yeah, that gives 0.5. It's more. It's cheaper as well. So it gives the same amount as this, right? Yeah, it gives the same amount. Being 0.5 either one. So get the public fountains. It'll also get the... Uh, I want to get public fountains to get the uh, fertility trait. Fertility and um, health and hit points and, and casualties replenishing. That's the one. Returns. Okay. Kind of getting some things building. We need some cash okay. from Mordor. Where's the settlement here? Is it? Is it like here? As no? you will. Oh, there's a road. Found a road. Road identified. Oh, Win range. How many settlements do we have? Five. Five settlements. A thousand gold. I shall inform short. them of your will. This thing here. Five short. I don't think so. I think we all had the same joke, though. There is a different dwarf thing I know you get. Okay. There's something. There's something. Right. No, no tier three mining man that would be that would be something else if i got tier three mining so I, I only get two tiers right unless i already have tier three where are they mines no, i only get two tiers man look at all these traits i'm getting these are some nice traits minus 10 percent construction costs Whoa, what is this? Minus 1% taxes income, plus one fertility, plus one personal security, plus one public happiness. I guess you get personal security, that's nice. But minus 1% taxes? Oh. Who makes a... Who makes a, who makes a trait like this? This isn't three kingdoms. Give me positives. Minus 1% taxes income. Just give me plus 1% tax. Better yet, don't give me any minus anything. Just give me plus 1 fertility, plus 1 personal security. This general is accompanied by a female aide that aids them by securing their protection, increasing their local popularity. Most aides, despite their origins, do not sleep with their benefactors, instead educating them about ways to increase their fertility. A minor burden is placed on the taxes of a settlement to fund the aide's activities. Ah, fair enough. Fair enough. I guess so. You know. I guess so. Construction. Um, yeah, so we're just going full greed. Absolute full greed. Everywhere. Greed is good. Greed is good. A thousand. Uh, I could wait. I can't wait. I need the thousand gold. Will the thousand gold get something building? Will it get anything building? Right over here. Already building. We won't actually 
get anything building. Uh, yes, how many master. turns away is this? Two turns. Ah, uh, just go for it and move on. I need to keep him moving. Your wit. Always a pleasure to deal with your people. And they might not accept a thousand, so we might spend a turn here anyway. Excellent. Do not think about yeah, head north. Farewell. Go, go to... As you will. Rune. Extra thousand gold, that'll mean next turn where should be able to get some things building. Yep. Oh, the turns are ticking away so quickly. I just have to trust in the process. Trust that the greed will pay off. I know, I know, when, when people have requested a campaign for so long, you know that there's, there's issues, right? You know that there's, there's some surprises in store. A okay, one turn, War Declared, Isengard and Lothlorien. I was thinking about the Lothlorien campaign recently. I don't know if I said this on stream. I think, yes, if I was to play a Lothlorien campaign right now, I... As you will, I have come to the end of today's road. I would um go for Isengard. Hold at Lothlorien and go straight for Isengard. Now that you're bored of them. At least at least take a settlement or something. Kingdom of Gondor. Okay. Maybe they won't fight us. I mean at least we're wearing them down a little bit. Mason's Hall. Okay. Greed. Reed is good. So many red crosses. We need we need things building. Ah, oh, gee. Can we up taxes anywhere? About here. Can we can we up taxes? A little bit. Ah, it's zero percent growth. I don't want zero percent growth. Still want a little bit of growth. What about here? Yeah, we can up them. We, we just need we need money to get things going. That's very high. What about ah uh, here? We're going low. That's right. Okay. Orders. Let's see what happens. The aid sounds like a retinue for a conquer conquering general. Hmm. Yeah, like the um, public order. Yeah. I mean, he's on the faction leader, so I mean, he'll be conquering at some point, won't he? Okay, so we need to throw a save in here. Um, what are we canned? battle <laughs> they're not they're not all Hashari are they surely not frig me oh yeah I think we're still fine because we got we got cav archers so we can just shoot these guys and charge into charge into these Hashari shadows I mean they are good units but gee sure okay a little We'll step tribesmen will get the job done. <laughs> Surely not all Hashari. I guess this is like the Hashari... The Hashari, like, hideout, right? Oh, freak me. Just... No. Um, come back, come back, come back. Can we have... There's a nice hill here. Let's go. Uh, can we... Loose... Loose formation. Go kind of, like, wide. Like that. Uh, can we... Have you kind of off to one side. Ready to throw your javelins. You off to the other side. Uh, and then can we have cav archers, hold fire, run to this way. Come this way. Okay, hold fire. You can fire at will, you can fire at will. Get to that little hill. Give ourselves plenty of space away from the, uh, away from the towers. They melt under cab charges, yeah. I mean, we don't have really... We want to just kite, it, kite them first, use the ammo. But once we've used the ammo, we can go in. Um, carry blades, can we? Uh, I don't want to move them up while they've still got the towers activated. Let's let them run out. We should be fine here. Just a little bit... A little bit scary to begin with, honestly. Okay, so can you start moving up? Can I go probably... Out of there. Fire at will, fire at will. Try and hit the Shari Blades. 
don't hit the shadows actually. Don't hold fire, hold fire. Under there. Can you come to that? That shooting him. Yeah, this is what we want. This is the ticket. I mean, yeah. Okay, they're gonna chase them. Just run back. Fire it, Wolf. Fire it, Wolf. Keep shooting, keep shooting. Run, run, run. Keep, keep near to him. Keep near to him. Keep the shots coming. Keep the shots coming. Run up, run up, run up. Keep, keep going, keep going. Not really shooting the Hashara units as much as I would like. Shoot those two. No, 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 no. Where are you? Where are you? you. Come over a little bit. Go to like there. Come over a touch. Then. Pull back a bit. Pull back just a little bit. Just a little bit. Keep the kite coming. Shoot, 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 shoot. Can you sh yeah, shoot those, shoot those? Can we throw some javelins. Keep, keep shooting them in the back. Oh, it doesn't really matter where we shoot them. Javelins into... Get around there. Circle around, circle around. Get a little closer. The shot's off. Get those. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Shooting, keep shooting him. Javelins away, we javelins away. Fire into the back. Fire into these. Come on, yeah, yeah, come on. They're, they're just melting to the arrows. That's it. Melting to the arrows. Charge in, charge in, charge in. Fire at that. Nice. Okay, shooting this, shooting this. Okay. Keep shooting, keep shooting. Shoot, 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 shoot. Yeah, I think we can probably. I mean, they're pretty much done, right? We hold fire, hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. And just charge in on that. And no, 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 here, 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 here. Shoot here, shoot here. This must be the captain. Yeah, so that should break those. Come in here, hit the back of that. And then, yeah, just charge, just run away a bit, and then you can charge in. Get in, get in there, go, go, go. Nice. Beautiful. Let's see how these snakes fight without their head. Our enemy flees before Beautiful. us like a herd of goats. Beautiful. Have Drive you. them from the battle. Victory is ours. A victory both righteous and well deserved. It cannot be said otherwise. We lost a lot of the Varag swordsmen, but uh, that's okay. That's what they're there for. They're going to die at some point. Introducing the most annoying general's bodyguard. Seriously, who thought a horse archer generic bodyguard was a good idea? And their armor piercing. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Lignalius. Welcome in. Generals Rashid, nice. Yeah, I mean, I've often been asked about what general's bodyguard is the is the best. And you know what? In all those thoughts, I never ever considered Can. I don't know why. I just probably I hadn't really thought about him. Our faith has delivered us victory. And personally, I think about it, an, a cav archer general is both ve is very effective on the field, very effective on the field. Um, particularly the the Varags one because they kind of are in tight formation. Oh, a thousand gold, thank you, please. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, and we need to queue up this. Oh no no no, we want to queue up the that one first. Up that one first. Um, very effective on the field, obviously. And then they're actually pretty effective in siege as well because they can get some good volleys into a blob um, if you can set them up in a decent area. And then, of course, they can chase units down. So Cav Archer Generals are, are, are very, very good. Welcome in, Silent Deputy. Q's are stalled. Yes, EP, EP Chad. <laughs> Uh, well, you got to wait to see the gameplay first, right? Uh, so, okay, so he's free upkeep, so we'll leave him here, right? He can stay. He can stay because he's going to be free upkeep. And then we send Order. this to How continue. Uh, this is held by Harad as well. Look at this. So Harad gets this in the auto expand too. So they get both of these fairly close regions in auto expand. So yeah, we're, we're left with slim pickings. So can I send them ahead? 
How may I serve? I'm gonna send them ahead, right? Because they can get there faster, and then that plus that should be enough to take anything down here. Um, these units... Probably want to send them back to a fort. Like, either over here, or over here. Hold up. We got some devastation. Where's that? What territory is that in? What's this? Canned? Is this canned here? 352. Is there anywhere else with devastation? A lot of corruption. Where's this? Ah, oh, that's where we're just fighting. That's understandable. That'll go. No. So it's just... We got some rebels. 352 gold. Okay, so... That made my decision easy, whether to go this way or to go this way. We'll head... We'll throw these units... Borders. This direction. And then they can help clear out whatever's here. I guess we can use this general as well for that. Um, I could get a spy to check out how much that is. Now, spies are 100 gold turn. I gotta, I gotta just chill on that. So they're gonna get here. When they arrive, we're gonna hook up with these units and go south. Um, probably take him with me. Can I get another general? 21 turns. Ah. This, it seems you missed the entire Dolgood or campaign. Uh, it, was, it was a reasonably short one, but you know, it was it was fun, fun and fun and short. Get up here. Your um, yeah. So talk to Rune won't give us a mission because we already have contact with them. So we may as well try what is it you map see? information. Twelve hundred. Let's try twelve hundred. Very nice. Okay. And then we should now get a mission to talk to Darwinian, because we haven't got a mission for anything yet, right? No missions. Okay. So now we're fairly close to Darwinian, we should get a mission to talk to them. Hopefully. That's that's the plan anyway. Might need to get a unit here just to hold public order if I'm sending him out. If I move him out... Yeah. 35%. Okay. Um... How many free upkeeps do I have here? This one. Yes, noble master. Uh, so next turn. How may I serve? Next turn we build a unit here. We send send the the faction leader to go take the settlement. I think that's the plan. Look, oh, we're getting we're getting some places. Look, places are building. Look at this, it's happening. It's happening. We're making three thousand gold next turn. Good. It's all happening. This is like chess piece. I said this is macro right now. Like this right now, we got time. We got to go. It's all macro. Like you just have to eke everything out of our economy that we can get. Does the bottom right region have Mumax or half trolls? Um, I hope not. I thought the Mo the Mumical city was uh, the. <laughs> <I> <laughs> ah, perfect. Isn't the Mimikill City this one downhill? This is this definitely has uh, Mimikill and Half Trolls. I don't think this does. I hope it doesn't. Because uh, I don't think you can, you can't recruit Mimikill here, so I'm hoping not. Okay, they will be able to catch up the following turn, I think. It's like well, they probably go straight across there. Oh, is that that's through? Is that through? Whose territory is that? Possibly. I don't want to go through here. I don't want to piss them off earlier than I have to. Let's go this way. Um, we rest here on now, the I mean, the road goes here, right? This is where the bridge is. So, I guess the settlement's near near where this bridge is, like in this direction. So, if I move him, to serve. how far can they make it in a turn? No, so, he'll catch in two turns. So, we can wait one more turn. Wait one more turn. And then we... Then we send him. Okay. Yes. Lovely marriages. Uh, what made you see the light concerning Dol Guldur? The lake one definitely has the mimicry. Yeah. Oh, coming of age. Well, hang on a second. Hang on a second. Well, I can send you. Oh, I could send you up here. I could send you down here. Now, I'll send you here because I'm about to send him out. 
So. Yeah, so this. This fella. Yes, so you're gonna come to master. here. Noble one. And then is this finishing next turn? Uh, two turns. So it doesn't matter, really. In fact, I can probably save more money by sending you to here now. Yeah, because that way I can make him free upkeep, and then he'll get free upkeep. And he's pretty expensive, right? Yeah, 564 gold. So keeping him free upkeep as well as turning this guy over. We lose a little bit in terms of taxes, and obviously he's not as good a governor, but we do want to move him, so we'll do that. Um, I just wanted to try I want to do Dog the Door. Silent Deputy, it was, it was, um, it, it was a fun campaign. Um, old mate, uh, <laughs> the faction leader, uh, Kamul, he was, he's, he's a beast. He's an absolute beast. No, no doubt about it. Yes, my master. As you will. Okay. As you will. I guess we could talk to him there. Okay. Uh, I might actually, how many turns have I got? Five turns. I might not talk to them yet. I might talk to them over here so that I'm actually closer to the next um, faction so I can hopefully get the next mission pretty quickly. Okay, so, I mean. Noble one. Orders. How may I serve? Yes, noble yeah, we'll, we'll move next turn. We'll move next turn. Let's go. <sighs> I, I kind of love this sort of thing. I know it's maybe not the most... I know we're, we're leading to something big, right? But I love this. I love the... You know, just trying to min-max the, the economy to get as most out of it as I can. Knowing that we have kind of impending doom coming to us. So... Let's go to there. Rest here until the orders. Okay, that, you're going to catch up. In fact, just come to here. We march. Now, this is going to hurt. This is going to hurt, but we got to do it. Move the troops out. We move at first light. Ow. Yeah, that, that's a lot of cash. Right? Are we going to pick blue wizards? Yes, we are. We are picking blue wizards. There's not a chance at all that we are siding with Mordor. We are going a good campaign. I'm excited about getting dwarves. Okay, so that's that one. Uh, he's free upkeep now, excellent. So go Mason's Hall. Uh, and then, yes, we want chicken farming. So we want more growth here to get a wall. Get the chicken farming. Uh, you may as well retrain. Because you're free upkeep, so it's not going to hurt. Get him done. And then, yeah, we'll, we'll just Your will. go at least to, sh to the next settlement As over you here. Will. As you will. As I know we could, well, we could talk to any of those, As but that's fine. Let's keep going a little bit further. Yes, my master. Best thing here. How may I? Yes. And we haven't spent any money. This was almost already built there. We haven't spent any money on towers because well, I'm trying to conserve every last penny. Every last penny is being conserved. This is, <laughs> there's no waste. Then I hope that Gondor has that rare competent game. Well, as long as they're not dead by turn 40, right? This is what I'm hoping for. As long as they're not dead by turn 40. Uh, if they hold out to about turn 80, I think I can save them because I think this is the most influential campaign you can have. Because I'm going to be bordering Harad, Mordor, and Rune. Which is kind of like three different parts of the map. Like, so if I backstab Mordor, that's going to directly help Gondor and Rohan, right? So that's like influencing the entire center of the map. Which is all, it's going to influence Isengard as well, right? So like, there's a huge flow and effect there. If I'm hitting, if I'm fighting Harad, that's going to impact this entire south area. With what happens with Dol Emroth and and uh, Aradonaim, and then if I'm fighting Rune, that's like Rune's flow and effects is all of Ravenian, so Dwinian and Dol Guldur, as well as Dale and Erebor, and subsequently then, um, uh, Woodland Realm, 
or not so much Woodland Realm, but more um, Gundabad. So, like, what we do is going to have huge flow-on effects um, throughout throughout the campaign, which is kind of exciting to think about. You're doing going to a campaign last week, and for some reason, Dol Emroth declared war on all allies. I've had it happen. I've had it happen. Is that kind of script? No. It's not a script for Dol Emroth to declare war on allies. Uh, the, the time I had it happen to me is I took... Um, I, I took a fort off them that's in their territory here. And they wanted their fort... I left no troops in it. They wanted their fort back and they just sent in a unit to take the fort. Which automatically declares war. Um, and that was how they declared war on me. So it was kind of like just an... Like the AI wanted to do it. I don't know if it was a fort interaction. But it can happen. AI can declare war on allies. It's just unlikely. Particularly with good factions. Really rare with good factions. Okay. Let's get let's get some gold out of these lads. So we have... Well, we can maybe get one more region. Hold up. Don't do that yet. Don't do that yet. Stirth... Stirtha Khan. Okay, yeah. Go greed. Full greed. What do we got here? Where is it? At once. Yes. At once. Just in range. That'll be there as well. Okay, so can you make the attack so we make sure we have the range? And then you join. And then they can join as well. I hope Gondor is completely incompetent so you have to, a powerful mortar to deal with. We had, we had Hashari, now we got Trollman. As long as one of these units isn't a Mumikil. I mean, we actually have the Mumikil answer, right? We have Step Tribesmen. They, they have a, uh, a missile attack. They have javelins. There's only two, two missiles, but you know, they have a javelin. So, our cheapest, most trash tier unit actually counters the Mumikil. That's, that's a, that's a nice thing. And the Great Beast. That's, that's pretty, it's pretty good. I'll hate, I'll take that. Right, um, now this is a little bit risky attacking. We have to draw them out because we don't really have a, a force to attack them with. We more have a, hopefully they come out and fight us force and then we kill them. Although we have a fair bit of archer fire, we can we can give to them as well. So I think we're fine either way here. We will engage them um, let's, let's go in. They should be drawn out when we when we just shoot shoot the Living heck out of them. Two South Run Pikesmen. Okay, so we need to shoot them. Okay, the, these guys are now no longer the priority. We have to shoot the Pikes because we can charge into the Trollmen. We can't charge into the Pikes. Um, so they need to get shot. Toronto. And I hope Dol Emroth capitulates to Harad and AA very early, though I doubt that'll happen. <laughs> no, don't ruin my fun, Amon. I want... I want to be able to help everyone. I'm I'm the hope coming from the east, right? I'm I'm the one coming to save everyone this time. Not me sitting as there as Gondor, hoping Can doesn't just fall over and collapse in a heap to Mordor, and then just give Mordor more territory so that they're huge and even a harder threat. You know, I'm I'm the one that can tip the balance. I'm the one who can tip the balance. Oh yeah, so this is nice. I mean, if they just sit in the square, we can shoot them from various directions. So hopefully they'll come out. I suspect they will. So we'll set up like they'll come out, but then we'll um we'll be prepared to so live a hill here. Yeah, there it is. So kind of just separate these two a little bit so that they're so we kind of want them sh actually no stuff that we want them sh in range of we get them in range of the little exit there. So you two that, do that. Um, you fellas can sit there and throw javelins. We actually don't have really a frontline infantry, but we do have a cav, melee cav. These fellas aren't too bad, I don't think. Nomad horsemen, five, eight charge. Yeah, uh, good charge. Excellent stamina, they can they can run around a bit. Um, okay, so you two kind of sit on this side. You're gonna sit, you're gonna come forward over here. Cav campaigns, man. And Dorwinian gets too drunk to fight Rune. I suspect Dorwinian's always drunk. This is this is true. So are they gonna come out? Yes, they are. Okay, they're moving. So can I get you over here? Just wait. Can, are we in range? Can we push forward. 
just a touch. Add to that. Go, 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 go. Fool them just a touch. Yeah. Okay, just speed it up a touch. Now, can we just start shooting them as they come out of here? Yes. Yes, we can. Start shooting. Go, go, go. Give it to them. They're in range. Fire. Yeah. Nice. Okay, good shots. Good shots. Can you come across just a touch? It's the hunters coming out. Oh, they are too. Fire. Don't want them to throw javelins at me. Just pull back. Thinking about it, aren't they? Pull back. Pull back. I've got the elixir. What's that undo? Stun 100%, 150% own combat. Own combat. Yeah, that's good. Let's shoot the pikes. Pikes. Shoot the pikes. Shoot the pikes. 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 Shoot the pikes. All of you, shoot the damn pikes. Okay. Everyone, focus. Fire the pikes. Take. Bring the pikes down. Can you come around a little bit? So you go to that. You go to there. Come around a little bit. Yeah. Kind of wanna. Fight this if possible. Can you run? Uh, stop, stop, stop. Run back, run back. Keep shooting, keep shooting. Okay, can you throw your javelins? I just want to kite this as much as possible. Uh, keep, keep shooting the pikes. Okay, so when, as soon as they get into range, yeah, keep, keep running back, keep running back. If, if the, if one of these trollmen makes themselves vulnerable, come over here. We'll go for that one around there. Uh, yeah, up, up to here, up to here. Stop there, stop there, and fire. Okay. Throw javelins into that. Keep keep the shots coming into the into those pikes. Shoot these pikes. Javelins in. Okay, can you come around here? You might get a charge into these hunters. Yeah, that's that's. I like the look of that. They're they're starting to line up. Pull back, pull back, pull back, pull back. Don't let them give a shot. Okay, do that one. Okay, fire into those. Javelins away. Yeah, hit them in the back. Keep shooting those ones. Pop that. Really want to run over these trollman hunters. Okay, pull that, pull that, pull that. Okay, they're going to fight. That's okay. Just pull around. Keep shooting. Oh, the unit's still in the base, actually. Okay. Pull that, pull that. Okay, shoot these. Okay, shoot. Around the back. Curse the sun that shines on our disgrace. Must only half the enemy force remains. Come over to here. We must pray they lose their will to fight. Come over, come over, come over. Keep shooting those pikes. I reckon we can Yeah, just just keep the shots coming in. Can you shoot those ones? Shoot these ones. Okay, pull back, pull up, pull up, pull up, pull up. Okay, shoot these, shoot these pikes. They need to go. Pikes need to go. Actually, no, no, stop, 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 stop. Charge them again. Curse the sun that shines on our disgrace. We must turn the wind of battle, or we will face ashes instead of victory. Get in, get in, get in, get in. Go, go, go. Get in, get in. Oh, where's my, where's my? Are you guys good? Okay. Keep shooting, keep shooting at these. They're out of ammunition. That's okay. Come over here and charge this. Pull back out. Pull back out. Flat, 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 flat. Actually, save, save ammunition, save ammunition. Stop firing, stop firing. Okay, uh, and can we can we charge into this? Go again. You get over here, hit these pikes, they should go down. We still got a unit in the base we need to deal with. Do you want to save some ammunition for that? Okay, yeah, that should run them over. Yep, good, go, go, go. Yeah, yeah just, just charge them. I don't give a shit. Go to, get in there, get in there. Should run them over. There's not many of them. Go. Okay. Curse the sun that shines on our disgrace. And the after the enemy force remains, you must pray they lose their will to fight. That's right. It advises all over it. He knows what he's talking about. I mean, some of them did lose their will to fight. Okay, so what do we got left in here? This is a trauma warrior. Okay, so I'm thinking you get archers and go to the flank. All right, come over here. And can you come over this way? Come over this way. We're going to time six. Speed things up. Um, let's get our spears just up the front and maybe get a cab unit over here to charge in or something cab unit over here and then leave the two hunters in the middle <sighs> okay 
cav, cav micro. You know, I've got it. I just, you know, it's funny. When you play a campaign that you don't have much cav in, you just get really slack when you actually have the cav. But then when what you have rely on is the cab, then you got to pick it back up, don't you? Are we winning or losing, advisor man? It's, he is playing both sides. He doesn't want to be. He doesn't want to be sued. This is. Now, how close can we get here without you fellas moving? This is my question. How close can I get? It's pretty close, isn't it? Can I go one more? I'm greedy. Just, just a little bit more. I, want you, I don't want you to miss. Alright. Can you shoot from there? That's pretty good. Oh yeah, that's that's in the flank. That's nice. That's nice. Okay, get over here. You just actually their shields are on their left side. So they're actually probably better arrow defense from that side than they are from this side. Well to the faction cab more for more cab focus than Rohan. Yeah. I kind of feel like I like this cab. I like this faction more than Rohan in terms of the the roster. I mean, you do get the dwarves, which is kind of fleshes things out a fair bit. Oh, nice. That's good. General is slain. For the moment, the fickle smile of fortune shines upon us. Pray this is a portent but of a victory. But the fact that you get some like very nice heavy. I should start shooting, shooting from that. This is fun. Okay, shoot in that. We out of ammunition on this side. Okay. We get just just get a little closer. This is not this is not good enough. Get in here. I'm not like no 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 like that like that go like that go like that yeah that's this is what we want right get like that and then fire that's what we want. Don't be in the square because that'll trigger them. But get as close as you can and then get the shots in. Shield values is halved both from left and right. I thought it was only halved from the side it was on. But okay, I could, could be wrong about that. Because we definitely seem to be getting more kills from... I mean, I guess we are... They have two hit points. So I guess we're... We, we're chunking them down. So that's not a fair measure. That, that definitely got rid of quite a chunk there. Right, okay. So then... We want to go in with a cav and a cav and a spear. Spear to pin him in the front and then just send everything in, right? We will literally just send everything in to hit him all at once. Once the spear is pinning him. Um, yeah, get you over here. Um, okay, come in there. Come over here. You fellas off guard. Hopefully we just run him over. Uh, he can come in from the back. Come around from over here. I'm probably taking this way too careful, but I'm, I'm being careful. Right. Oh, there we go. Our men have taken control of the city. I don't get them in there. Get, get the cabin. Get the cabin. Our enemy there we go. Nice. Before us like a herd of goats. Perfect. This is a most crushing victory. Your name will live in marble, and our foes in sand. That's such a good line. I. That's kind of something I do really like about the the southern factions. Is that that line? It's so BM. Your deeds will live, will our, our deeds or whatever it is will live in marble, and your foes in sand. It's such a, such a good burn. Our, our, we will be remembered. You will just be blown away with the wind, and no one will ever recall your name. You know, it's, it's so good. We have Sayakan. Sayakan. Victory! Occupy. It's, it's just a. It's just a. I was hoping there'd be more here. This doesn't have um, <laughs> a wall either. So low taxes. Uh, I guess we want to go meeting hall first. Get him free upkeep because he's very expensive. And then we're gonna go back to this fort because we are min maxing eco. That's that's what we're doing. So can I get? You can make it back in, in two turns. You might, you guys might be able to. Yep. You're all out of, we're all out of movement. Okay. How may I serve? You gotta let low and get that building there. Horse master. 
There are no Moomoo kills down here. More mines? Six hundred? Six twenty five? I'm licking the lips with that one. Where's where's mines? I can't see him. Mines, mines, mines. Thirteen hundred gold. Okay, so <laughs> uh Damn, is this Kazadoom East? I know, right? I guess it's gold? Is this mithril out here? Like <laughs> I mean there are dwarves over in this over in this direction. How may I serve? Okay, so they're heading back to the fort. So everything should be pretty much free upkeep, right? They're all free upkeep. Everyone should be free upkeep. These two. Oh, those two. Ah, uh, we want to deal with this. Ah, uh, we want to send units back to deal with that. How may I so the cab will probably just run on to deal with that. And we'll just leave the infantry here. And then we've got another fort up here to fill up. Okay. Things are coming together. Uh, where's my diplomat? Make sure the... Oh, that's right. We waited. We waited. So we now have... Seven regions. So let's see how many turns do we have. Get this deal. Three turns. I guess we get the trade rights. What is it you wish to discuss? Let's just go trade rights. Make sure we get the 750. Seems quite easy. And Another then go... Us, then? They're very poor. 1400? 1400? I don't know if they'll give it to us. This no. Okay, reject. That's okay. Idea. We'll try 1200 at the next settlement. We'll yes, get moving. I have come to the end of today's road. Ah, you How you fellas can sit in... Uh, you know, just wait here, wait here. It's we fine. March. I'll just have to pay for you for a couple of turns. Because by the time I marched them up to here, they'd have to come back to fight here anyway, so... Vortex. That's okay. Turn 11. Turn 11, we got... We got two extra settlements. Nowhere's really making money at the moment, though. Very, very low income. We had a lot of corruption. A thousand gold, a gift from the council. This is Sauron. Sauron, you... you <laughs> we're outwitting Sauron at the moment because he doesn't realize. He doesn't know. He's actually giving gold against himself. He doesn't know it. That's stupid, Sauron. What a fool. As you will. Um, okay, so... You have... Let's try 1,200. And we can try... No, okay. we'll, not do well, then. we'll try 1,000. As you will. As you oh, will. they haven't got it yet. Thing here. I thought Dorwinian got Alanan in the auto expand. Huh. Okay, well, we gotta get back. Yes, <laughs> Here we go, here we go back. Turn around. Turn around. Our intel was misled. So we got, got bad intel. Get back over there. Okay. So, Obamali. Okay, so we got some choices here. I think we want to get some mines. What would the roads do here? Not as much as the mines. I think we need money first. Money first, and then we go for like garrisons. Because we've got our hobbits, our, our hobbits halls, our, our master mason's halls. I think we want mines. Um, we can't. Can we go more greed here? No. But we can get mines. Yeah, let's get a mine. Uh, got free upkeep. Okay, go for the mason's hall. And down here. So, How may I you fellas hook up. Um, I can't make Orders. it this turn. Well, you can make it here this turn. You, so you save some cash. And we then march. the other three. We march. Yeah, march out. We move. Get to the... Two turns away. Get to that. How may I serve? I'm so tempted to start building some towers, but we, we just need every little every little coin. Everything needs to add up. And this this is costing us money right here. We gotta get rid of this. What is it? 350. 350 turns is a lot. It's a lot of gold. Okay. Your win.
as I said, I, I'm not sure whether the script hits like at a certain turn or whether it's like a, a range of turns. But I think once we see the the Blue Mountains Dwarf script, I feel like our script is not far past that. So that's kind of like a an early early warning. <laughs> it's an early warning message. Okay, so can you head over to here? Yeah, yeah that way. Fellas need to get in. Save some cash. Dale and Dolgador. Yeah, it makes sense. Magic, welcome in. Hi, uh, will you play as good canned or go with the Dark Lord? Now we're going to be good canned. I think Erid Lewin's script is always turns 31 to 35. Okay, so I think we're after that. So I, I think we're around turn 40. Um, if, if it's before that, I'm I'm very concerned. Because these turns are ticking by. Okay, yeah, more greed. I, I'm, I'm, I'm going full greed. Chelkar. Okay, we got growth. We're, okay, so on the way to walls. So I guess we want the mines. It's so greedy. Five turns. Okay, go mines. I, I, I think I want like a mine everywhere. So you can... Get Mason's Hall, and then get the mine up. Ooh, the growth. This is so much money. Actually, I've had a thought. I, I don't know what settlements... I'm, I'm assuming my starting settlements get hit by the, the script. Well, does it hit settlements I've captured as well? I don't know. Do I need to get walls here? Well, I'll go low taxes, but I think the mines are just too important to get up. 550, 556, it's a lot further away, isn't it? It should still grow. We're at two and a half percent. I think it'll get there. I think it'll still get there. We just, we go get the mines going. Uh, we need gold from these fellas though. Oh yeah, perfect, perfect, yes, perfect. They came along. What is it you wish so to give me a thousand. We tried fourteen. Let's try a thousand. I must say we are. Not Until we come on, guys. Okay, yeah, I gotta try eight hundred. I'm not leaving until I get money out of them. I need I need eight hundred gold at least. Something. Waters. Something. Um. Also. How may I serve? I kind of don't... This is... I don't know whether I'll be ambushed there. So I kind of want trees. Nah, I can't afford it. 100 gold is... 100 gold is 100 gold too much. We just can't afford it. Orders. Great. I'm glad, you, I'm glad you're happy with it, Magic. Don't worry, you'll find out. Uh. How may I serve? Would declare Gondor Isengard. Okay, let's see if we can get this eight hundred gold first. Oh, they lost. We get back. As you will, you have a proposition for us. Come on, Dorwinian. What are you doing? Surely you want to know what's happening down in the south. 800 gold. It's a bargain. It's half price you almost. Hold us at okay, then. Good. Let's go. As you will. 800 gold. I'll take it. That got something building because we're back down again. You fellas Orders. jump in. What are we at? Oh, that's, it. that's good. That's good. Almost 3,500 a turn. And we can we can save some more cat. Is this devastation going here? 66. I think it is decreasing. I don't think there's any armies here. I think I was just from our siege. Um, so now, How may I serve? devastation is here. Um, so you two Orders. need to come out. Can you come to How may I serve? here? We march. Yeah, so we can't see them. So they must be ambushed. Which means I'm a little bit concerned about sending Orders. my cab this way. I kind of want them to go, go, no, go this way. As you win. Link up. Normally these armies are not terribly big. This should be enough along with this general coming down. I mean, this Noble is so much cash to be pulling out. It's 400. I need to pull him out this turn. 
We move. And save him. He's got a lot of movement. Yes, uh, okay. Uh, go to there. Can't see him. Where? Where are they? Could be there. That could be an ambush spot. Under there. Orders. An honor to serve. Go to there. Right, then to there. Then to there. Your forces are ambushed by an independent army. Their attempt to surprise you failed. You'll have time to prepare for the battle. Good. Good, good, good. Warlord Olash. Yeah, I think we fight this manually. I have Marauders. Marauders are pretty trashy, but uh, four and five. They're actually, pretty similar. It's actually a tricky little battle uh, because they kind of have cav superiority. Kind of. I got to kite them. Um, are we you know we have wind riders. I think we're fine. Does this fella have um? some HP or is he very fragile he looks fragile so far come on please tell me he has an additional HP here somewhere no he has no additional HP okay I mean, I could order resolve. We have a general. It's a rebel army. No, let's 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 fight it. Let's fight it. Don't be silly. Don't tempt fate. Don't don't tempt fate. Just. Let's just fight it. Say don't tempt fate as I send in the general with the least hit points ever known to man. You trust the auto resolve? You, do you see me using auto resolve? I'm, I'm in the battle, aren't I? So this is the uh, Windrise of Khan uh, unit, 14, 8, and 15. So a pretty good unit. 140% um, movement speed. They are very, very fast. Fastest unit in the game, I believe. Skilled against mounts. That's nice. Excellent stamina. So should be able to take a trade against Marauders fairly easily. As long as the general isn't kind of surrounded. Uh, our faction air, but look at these guys. They look pretty nice, eh? Just look at these fellas. And that that looks pretty pretty slick. What's their armor values? Six, pretty low. Yeah, it's like it's like leather armor. Look at their horses. They look pretty nice. Really nice horses. Uh, actually we didn't look a close look at our our Valiag bowmen. They look pretty cool as well. And then the swordsmen. Do they have a shield? No, they're just two handed swords. Uh, and then what do we got? I do like the multi colors of the of the raiders. They they look really cool. And then I think we've seen these fellas close. I'm starting to see how the wizards get the Khan title. Yeah, yeah. No no additional HP on a faction air. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we want to kite this. So because we have the cab archer advantage. So, um, can we put our archers here? Archers there. Cav, oh, sorry. Infantry just kind of screen them a little. In fact, try to actually fully screen them. Um, you should be able to take a charge from Marauders, I hope. To fully screen them. And then we'll go... There's a bit of higher ground over here. This, this, this battle's a little tricky. Just, it's a weird one. Okay, can we drag some of these cav over here? This is what we want. We don't have a um, cav archer general here. We can drag out these Baroon Raiders. Looks like they're moving towards. Okay, so can we come over? Yeah, they're, they're starting to move. Or, or even just this Marauder unit. We need, we want to just drag out one unit. Maybe this one over here. Don't, don't shoot them. Don't shoot them. Shoot, shoot these ones here. Shoot these ones. Shoot the Marauders. 
So they're just going into loose formation. We don't really want that. Shoot the marauders over here. And then once they come out, what we want to do is then hit them with the hit them with the actual cab, right? Over here. And then we can free these fellas up to go elsewhere. Yep, they're coming. No, they're, they're, they're playing fishy games. Over here. Okay, wind riders, keep up, keep up. Let's go, go. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Okay, you two. Hold fire, hold fire. Get over here. Get over here, get over here. Start shooting, start shooting. Victory is well within our grasp. Time our foe will They're gone. Good. And those pull across, pull across. Get over here, start shooting. Can we just uh, hit him kind of with this, hit him in the back here? You fellas shoot, just yeah, shoot into there, shoot anywhere, right? Yeah. I don't really care if these guys die or not, I just want to disrupt their firing lines. Do that. And then what I'll do is that'll force out uh, the marauders maybe. Come over here. We shoot the... Shoot the marauders, shoot the marauders, yeah. Archers, keep keep just pinning down these. Yeah, seven archers, one twenty-seven. Okay, All right. You go back into this, and then can you come around and hit the Baroon Raiders? Hit this as well. The enemy are badly bloodied. They're, They're running. Okay. Run in, run in, run in. Hit him, hit him, hit him. All at once. Go, go, go. Well within our grasp. We have cut off the yep. serpent. Okay, that should that should make him right. Can we, can we hold, hold fire, hold fire, hold fire. Flees like a whip dog. Once we catch them, they should go to, where's the freaking general? Don't die. Oops, get over there. Get in amongst them, fight. As long as the general's not surrounded, it should be fine. Over here, over here. They run like Good. children. Scour them from the field. <laughs> Yep. Great victories are like sweet Very nectar. Good. Come, let us drink of the most. Yeah, that should clear up devastation, and then we can get these lads into the fort. GGS, just some, just some rebels on our desert. You know, they're just hanging out in some, in some oasis, and we're like, no. Ah! No, you shall not. I mean, it wasn't really. No I guess there's a river nearby. I was like, no, you shall not be here. We do not accept this at all. Okay, so you're out of movement. Okay. You two, start start moving. All right. <laughs> a little bit of extra movement. All of you, I guess. Start getting there. So we'll get there in a turn. 300 gold for winning a battle as well. It all adds up every yes, little master. bit. Okay. And they're in there for a free upkeep. 3,000 gold. What's your plan for when the chaos begins? Um, survive the, the rebellions or whatever happens. Survive the the Inquisitor, um, and then after that occurs, I kind of just want to like hit Mordor, right? I feel like I'm in such a prime position to just strike at Mordor, like just go bang, bang, bang. Like obviously we'll have to fight fight Rune here as well. Hold hold Harad probably at the border, and then and kind of just just sweep through Mordor and just get rid of them. Kind of want to see what happens in a game where Mordor doesn't exist. You know, um, like quite early. That's, that's an interesting, interesting to see how it plays out. You stalled, but we're building. Yeah, you can make it there. Save me money. At once. Good. Orders. All of you can't. Get out of there. The They'll be able to get in there next turn. It's fine. How may I serve? Orders. Don't have a general for up here yet. I guess that's okay. Um, we'll get one there soon. How long till we can build one? 
14 turns. And hopefully we have someone come of age or something before then. Ah, oh, diplomat, diplomat. Now, have we got a mission to talk to Dale yet? No. So we want to, don't want to talk to Dale until we get that mission. Tomorrow's journey awaits. I think I think the economy will start flowing once we get the mines up. It's like this is kind of the slowest part. We have we have mines everywhere. I think that's just the that's the go. Well, I guess that's Elrond. Like it can be Curden or Elrond, but I seriously doubt Curden would die to anything on turn sixteen. However, Elrond could be like in a fort in that elven fort and die to goblins or something. But that's pretty insane that he's died turn 16. He must have really got caught out in a bad spot. Well, there are many settlements between you and Mount Doom. Can't remember how to spell the settlement's name so you can get rid of the Nazgul. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I, I feel like I'm in just a prime spot to, to take out this. And then Gondor, like... Then that makes Gondor stronger, which makes Rohan stronger, which means Isengard's weaker. And then Gondor might help against, like, Karad and... There are, we, we are we are fully good this campaign. Okay? It's been it's been a while since we had like a fully good campaign. So we are helping the West. Aaron probably went to that fort and died. Yeah, even though his auto resolve is really strong, he must have been just in the fort by himself and Orders. and died. How may I serve? Huh. I'm guessing. How may I serve? Fellas, jump to there as well. Okay, Salitha Khan. Hang on, we're right over here. We don't have enough. 3,825. So good. Um, yeah, let's, let's, these are pretty good as well. Let's get those mines going and then we'll queue up. We'll queue up those mines. Yes, my master. As you will. Keep as going. you will. As you will. All the way over here. Tomorrow's journey awaits. Orders. Hey, we're, we're, the money start. We're getting troops back into free upkeep, so that's making a big difference. And we're just starting to get a little bit of growth. Things are starting to tick over. And fit one more in here. But the other thing to consider here now is is I probably should start recruiting troops like these will be like what 8 9 10 11 12 some, somewhere around that time to recruit recruitment replenishment <sighs> Don't, I'm greedy want to kind of get a mine everywhere and then I guess we start slamming out troops maybe like around turn 20 Can't believe Eladan and Elder here left Elrond to die. Guess one, guess one wanted to be the High Lord. I mean, that's a pretty cynical look at it. This is this is this is the sort of thing we would say if we were playing Dol Guldur like last campaign. But no, obviously Elrond went down in in a hail of goblin arrows as he defended um, Imladris to the last. Right? This is, or at least the fort outside Imladris to the last. That's. That's what we're gonna go with. How may I serve? Jump in there. So, so can you just merge? Orders. We're not. We're paying for these two, but that's they're the only troops we're paying for across everywhere right now. Uh, I guess I could send them over to here. How may I serve? Orders. Yeah. I mean, we are trying to eke everything. We'd send two cab, wouldn't we? Send these two. How may I serve? So we send those two. They stay there. Orders. And then send you two over to here. We move. Probably shouldn't have sent them the other way, should I? Get them into free upkeep. Save a little bit more money. He went down gloriously, holding out for reinforcements that never came. This is true. Oh, coming of age. 
Perfect. Okay. This is great. So we want... Yeah, we want the pleb down here. He's actually pretty... Wow. 16-year-old who is not half bad. He's, he's pretty good for a... For a 16 year old. I mean, he bends the truth a little bit, but um, apart from that, he, he knows how to run a town. Yeah, so yes, you are going to come there, spend the night. Free upkeep. Good. Keep, keep that money going. <laughs> Welcome in Stardust. I'm glad you appreciate my my chiseled face. Okay, we got we got got some got some mines. Okay, now this is where I think we can go too greedy, right? Like every ounce inside of me says queue up the next tier of mines. But I think we have to This is where I think we go. You know what? Let's start working on garrisons. Or let's start working on some more free upkeep so we can get some troops in there for free. Like, I think that's, I think the garrisons are more important. If we go one of these and then garrison, garrison. Four turns, eight turns. Let's go Warlord's Hall first. Then we at least get some more troops and then get some free upkeep. And then we go for garrisons. How may I serve? Okay, Mr. Diplomat, I'm waiting for a mission. Give me a mission. As you will. Not talking him until I get 750 gold for it. Road. Okay. Uh, and you're going to come up here, which means we need a meeting hall here next. Don't forget to build a meeting hall there, because we're going to have the faction leader up there, and he's very expensive. Right. <laughs> Will EPM delve too greedily and too deep? Man, I'm I'm super tempted, eh? There's so many mines. I just wanna I just wanna build all the mines. But I know that I I, I kind of I gotta balance this a little bit. Yes, Kingdom of Dale, that's what we wanted. Go, go, go. EPM. Yes, my master. Where is As he? you will. As you will. Where's the damn town? Here it is. As you will. What is it you wish? Okay, so trade rights. Now they are very poor, and Dwinian didn't seem to want to give me anything. Let's, they, they, let, let's try a thousand. Let's just uh, we can talk to him again next turn. Let's try twelve hundred. This no, okay, it's okay. That's fine. We'll we'll try a thousand next turn. Then fifty gold though. All helps. There's mines here as well, man. Oh, they're really bad mines, though. They're still mines. <laughs> I did say one mine everywhere, didn't I? I don't want to get... The roads here are probably better. Yeah, actually, roads here are insane. Four thousand five hundred, though, is very expensive. Get the roads. And then that's the last. Okay, so I feel like we're dealing like the last eco building for every settlement. And then we're going. We're going into. Order. Into military. We march. Keep the thinking over here. Remember, these ones we're trying to get we growth. Ever else, can we, can we eat more taxes? No. <laughs> That is the short answer. Uh, maybe. Yeah, we can get some more out of it. Very high. Can't get more out of them. Okay, so then you... I'm honored to serve. I can't quite get you there. It's okay. Get her there. We move at first light. Ooh, firing mercenaries as well. Okay. There are a few mercenaries around. I'm just going to keep that in mind. Or if we need some emergency troops. How may I serve? The old emergency yes, recruitment of, of mercs. We'll keep, we'll keep it up the sleeve. 
Still not building towers. I'm not I'm not spending money. I know they're like 15, 20 gold each. We're not doing it. In that regard, EPM is worse than a dwarf. Yeah, it's not like I build every... I mean, who doesn't? You know? I mean, I built the meeting halls first, and that was that saved me so much gold. But then after the meeting halls, it was straight into straight into the uh, the building halls, right? Like, who doesn't do that? It's so efficient in the long run. It hurts in the short run, but it, it definitely is efficient in the long run. As long as you have cash flow. If you don't have any cash flow, then it's useless. We still haven't started building them there. Two more mines, though. Look at this. It's, it's happening. It's happening. Okay, so here... What'd we say? We're gonna go... One Warlord's Hall, and then into Militia Garrison. Just so we can get some more troops for free here. Uh, this one needs the meeting hall. Noble you can start governing. Yes. Yeah, look at that. Look at the change. That's huge. All the corruption. Uh, if we can get his free upkeep as well, that will make a big difference. Yeah, overall income. Okay. Mr. Glasgard, can we try a thousand gold? Didn't want a thousand two hundred. What about a thousand? No, Rejected. Yeah, we'll try eight hundred next turn. As you will. As Coming you over. Will. Hello, Dale. We're friends. I know at the moment you think we're enemies. Well, well kind of because we are, but we're going to be friends. EPM manages to unearth the sand Balrog. I mean. Come off it. Don't stop saying these things. <laughs> there was a sand Balrog. There was just a casual Balrog that came chasing the chasing the blue wizards out of the east, you know? It's like And by the way, you know, we're coming we're coming to offer you, you know, to fight against Sauron. And you know what? We brought some of Sauron's finest with us. Would you could you could you help us could you help us out? You know, offer us a hand. I think we start building troops when all our settlements are building things. That's kind of the go signal, right? No watchtowers? No, they cost money. We are... This is full... 100% macro gaming right now. We, we cannot afford to spend anything. Like, we are on a timer to count down to doom. So... Orders. Get into the free upkeep. Look at this. This is costing me money right now. These guys need need to get in there. If we have spare coin, that's when we start putting up towers. But we don't have spare coin. You yes, talk my to Dale again. What is it you wish to discuss? Eight hundred. Yes, thank you. Eight hundred gold. Until we hang around here and talk to Erebor. Didn't get one yet, did we? 20 gold, man. Yeah, 20 gold. So if I build four watchtowers per settlement, right? Four watchtowers per settlement, or five watch, let's four, so 80. I want to, so what have I got? Seven settlements. That's 560 gold. That might be the difference between getting a building started or not. How may I Could be the difference. Like getting a building on a turn, it's, it's the difference right now. He's going, that's good. Oh, we got the we got these ones going. That's huge. Big mines. The Everware building. Everware's building. Fantastic. Okay. Turn 20. Turn 20 and we got Everware building. <sighs> we don't have any more gold. We'll see what see what gold we have next turn. Hopefully we get the talk to Erebor. And I, 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 I definitely want to get some troops. Like in the next, either next turn or the turn after, I want to start building troops. The Beggar Khan. Yeah. Dwinian went Northman. Okay. They'll have lots of money. Yes. This, this, this diplomat is just making us so much money. Um, trade rights. Make sure we get the deal. And then, look, you are modest. Do you guys, I'm going to ask you for the full 1400. 
I don't think they'll give it to me, but I'll, I may as well try. No, okay, that's okay. We'll try. We'll go from there. I should get a mission to talk to Woodland Realm soon as well. Okay. Oh, this is quite late, isn't it? Oh, going for a... Going for an eco building here seems... How much will that make a difference? It's a lot. See, it feels a little throwy, but it, we are going to start building it this turn. I haven't got any eco buildings here. I need to pay off for this. One. Get one building. And then we got to go military. You fellas Tell jump me, into sir. there. Actually, I can chuck a couple of lads into there. So can we get two units? Chuck them into there. Use that use that fort. That one's occupied. This has got a spare slot. In fact, can you go back and retrain? Um, and then I'll get one, two. And then go fill up that fort. Watchtower's lower criminality? What? Like corruption, are you saying? Watchtower's lower corruption? I mean, there's no no watchtowers down here, and we got zero zero percent corruption. No, no corruption here. I don't, I don't know about that one. Yes, my master. A yeah, thousand gold in the bank at the end of the turn. We're we're actually getting there. Things are happening. It's a joke. Oh man, gee. <laughs> there was no. There was no emoji. Nothing after that, right? <laughs> Gotta understand me, man. You got you got to give me something to work with. I mean, there's so many mechanics in Med 2. That's why I kind of took it seriously, right? I was like, really? Do they... I mean, I know... I like can Rome 1, you always tried to... You always tried to not have any fog on the map so that the rebels wouldn't spawn. I don't know. That was always my theory. I don't know if that worked or not. Sometimes uh, they spawned even when you didn't have... Um, when you didn't, when you didn't have it in fog. We march. It's like, that's more like a sieve. That's a sieve thing. Don't have any fog in sieve. There'll be a barb camp pop up immediately. Um, okay, Tell so me, you sir. two Orders. jump out to there. And you can jump Orders. in and retrain soon. Okay. And you'll be free upkeep there in a moment. Okay, meeting hall. Yeah, we have the eco building here. So now we go... Warlord's Hall. Okay. Like, half eco, half... Half, um... You know... Half military. Can I get any more Warlord's Halls? No, I can't. So... I'll go Leather Tanners. It's kind of military. Give my troops a bit more armor. I definitely want to build these two. I want to hold off getting the garrisons as long as possible. Four turns... How many turns do... Eight, but it's reduced by... So it'd be six turns. This so is six turns. Or five or six. Um, let's get a leather tanner. I build both settlements? I think I did, didn't I? Yeah. Your whip, you have a proposition. Information. Okay, um so you go one two hundred. Name a okay. Try a thousand next turn. Good day. How may I serve? Jump in. 
This is good. 3,000 gold in the bank at the end of the turn. I'm very close to just starting to build in units everywhere. I think I do, actually. Grab them there. Um, we already did that. Over here. Grab a couple there. And up here, grab a couple. Okay. Um, this is my logic. If I, if they're rebellions, right? That means they must be Candish troops, which are, by and large, low armor infantry or cav. So spears are going to deal with the cav. Archers can deal with the low armor infantry. That's 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 kind of my thinking here. As long as I have walls, which I'm still working on. Oh, yeah, we can get them. We can get them. Hey, we can get them. Uh, as long as we have walls, archers and spears can do a lot of work. You play Civ as well? Well, why don't you stream that from time to time? I have a couple of times. Uh, not when I was playing with the mates, just, just for a fun day. Um, but it's not something I'm I'm excellent at. I'm pretty... I'm pretty uh, garbage. It's just something I have played over the years. You know, you get into a, a bit of a um, an itch to play a certain game, and I've, I've played a little bit of Civ over the years. But I'm certainly not um, as as adept at Civ as I am at um, at Total yes, War. What can I do for you? Eight hundred gold. Oh no! Did they turn down? I didn't turn down a thousand yet. A thousand? Oh, gee. That's really hard working it out, aren't you? You straight, see how your strategy works out? Gee. Well, I mean, look. It is my strategy. I'll own it. Chelkar, we need walls. Now, now that we have... Now that we have the town upgrade, raise taxes. Okay? Um, in fact, can we go... No, we can't go very high. Just go high taxes. I could technically go very high. I was 70%. But we'll go, we'll go high taxes. Um, now that we have the town upgrade... Salertha Khan. Okay. Retrain those. And go for the Great Hall and get some more some more more lads. Some more lads in there. I probably do want to recruit these these lads, the Nomad Horsemen and Baroon Rays, but not just yet, because I have to pay for them. I want to get the infantry in. Come back in. Yeah. Everywhere is good. And we still have the mercenaries available. As soon as we can recruit units. We can recruit units down here. Uh, yeah, get those. Recruit units. If we can get the spears and the bows anywhere... I want to get them. So from now on, if we see spears and bows, we recruit straight away. Get them in. Because then they're what? 10 turns? Like, yeah, 10 turns, I think, on the countdown. Oh. Ominously saying, we'll see how your strategy works out, Ammon. That's... <laughs> it's about the cruelest thing you can say. <laughs> I mean... My my first tier of I don't really have a choice, right? This is it's not like I, it's not like I have choices here because my first tier is balloon raiders and nomad horsemen, right? Now cav notoriously are not that great at defending settlements. Like yeah, you can you can um, do some shenanigans, but at the end of the day, shenanigans will only get you so far. You actually do need some um, some infantry and some some infantry and some archers, so. The first tier doesn't get me anything. I'd have to get to... I'd have to get to tier 2, which requires a meeting hall, plus building the tier 1 and the tier 2. And that would then get me Nomad Axemen, Nomad Warriors, Baroon Hunters, which admittedly would be a big upgrade. Um, like, although none of them are spears. They would be good. But that's just a lot of investment to get to that tier.
It's almost as if you want to see EPM fail. I mean, isn't that what you're all here for? Let's be honest. <laughs> I know why you're all here. Um, get get more free upkeep. Yeah, more free upkeep. More free upkeep. Okay, so we can't get more free upkeep here. Add the worker. Kind of returns like this. You know what? Militia garrison. I don't want. I don't want to be caught short. Let's start getting the garrisons up. Um, now, I'm hoping the garrisons work because I'm, I'm. I'm. I'm recalling in version 4.6, high elves. When you get the Mithlond invasion, the garrison would not activate when you get hit by the Arad and I'm stack. Now, I I don't know whether it's the same kind of triggered attacks, but I, I'm I'm kind of wagering and hoping that they work, that the garrisons work, um, because let's be honest, the garrison troops are about the best troops I can get. <laughs> They are they are my strongest troops. So you wish to talk about. if uh, <laughs> tier two garrison troops are the best units I can get right now, in terms of infantry. I farewell. Okay. Right. As you will. As you will. Tomorrow I have a mission to talk to awaits. them now. If I can get the garrisons up everywhere, they are my best units. So we got we got to work with that. Where did I? Where are we? Seven turns. I just don't even know how long I need to look for these. Eight turns. Eight. Eight. Nine. Eight. Nine. Over here, I think was the closest. Was it? Seven. So seven turns. Seven turns, that we can get some more and get some more trash. Excellent. So I want to see more trash. Uh, now my capital is here. Think about moving my capital. Eh, I don't think there's a better spot. I mean, the better spot would be about here, right? But there's no, <laughs> there's no settlement there. So, yeah, I think I think this is the best spot because there's a settlement down the south that's pretty wealthy. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that. Happy with that. See, at this point, we've got money, right? We've invested. We've got the money going. The eco's rolling. So now we just need to make sure we can actually defend ourselves. And not only against the spawn attacks, but against Mordor, Can, uh, Mordor, Harad, and Rune. Garrison troops are my strongest troops. Yeah. Yeah, you can quote me on it. The tier the tier two garrison units are insanely strong. You can, you can take that one all the way to the bank. Like, they would be something along the lines. Ooh. Mr. Mountains have fallen. That would be something along the lines of, if I can just pull up one of these fellas. Like these are two, four, and five. Pretty sure my tier two garrison are like they're a spear unit. They're the Haradrim looking ones. They should be, I would assume they are. Um, they're like 10, five, and 16 or something something like that. 10, maybe not 10, maybe like seven. 7, 5, and and 14 or 15, something something along those lines. I don't know. Like they are they are the strongest units I can get. Yes, my master. Uh, can't move it along. As you will. As you will. Tomorrow's journey. Ardenheim and Gondor? No, don't do it, Ardenheim. Fight Mordor. Don't do it. Okay, we got the Warlords Hold, so yep, more free upkeep. Very good. Get another one. Ooh, that's that's the greed. We don't need money right now. What we need is to make sure we have troops. Get the garrisons. Okay, this is where I could... I'm just so tempted. Um, here as well. We got the roads now. Garrisons. Get them up. See you, Khan. Oh. 625 gold. Um, growth. I kind of need growth for you. Hang on. Hang on, hang on. Uh, yikes. Go, go growth first. Um, get the fountains. I don't want 
fountains in multiple places as well to get the apothecary before they run out of traits. This guy should have it here because yeah, this is the one I want. Plus one hit point, plus one fertility, six percent casualties replenishing. Um, he should have space. Most of these should have space. He's got four. Yep. Okay. So we start getting some public fountains as well. Maybe throw them in somewhere along the build path. Look, we're rich. We're rich. I've done it. I've unlocked the secret of wealth. We've got some good roads in there as well, in amongst all that. Towers. Right? Towers are on. Let's start building some towers. You'll hear lots of mighty sultans and, and over here, it's Lord, or something along those lines. Think you'll start the Blue Wizard script today or next time? I don't know. Uh, where are we at? Possibly. Depends on kind of how, when it happens and how quickly we start. So we're burning through turns pretty fast. Um, two turns. Hey, let's get the fountains here because I really want the generals to all have that trait. And then we'll go for garrison. All right, let's get some towers. Right, you now we're gonna be careful to get him back to the settlements. Make sure we have enough movement. Yes. At once. Yes. Right there. Setting a watch. we go. I do love vision. Right. Over to here. At once. Setting a watch here. Jump back in. Yeah. Oh, how far can we get? Yes. At once. One more. Yes. One more. At once. Yes. Yep, that's as far as we can get that one. Setting a watch. Chuck a here. tower up. Um, you come down to this area. Setting a watch here. Okay. Yes, noble master. At once. Setting a watch here. Noble one. There we go. Orders. You shall see all from here. We march. Can I get you to there as well or not? From here. Let's see. As I don't want to get to this river. You go to there. We march. So we have vision you around there. All from here. An honor to serve. Down to there. Setting a watch here. Noble one. Yes. At once. Yes. More. At once. Chuck that in there. Setting a watch here. And this one. You know what? An I'm going to send you on a tour. Serve. Let's go. Down to there. Yes. Build. Setting a watch here. Yes, noble master. Let's send you on a tour. Get Setting you going. A watch here. Noble one. Wait. Your will. As you will. What's the elvish word will. for friend? Stardust. Six months. Well. <laughs> I'm a sub to my cute anime girl. Dude, people, people are not going to understand. <laughs> I appreciate it. I appreciate it, Stardust. Um, I will continue to be your cute anime girl for as as long as <laughs> as you as you require. Um, <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear. Right, end turn. <laughs> end the turn. <laughs> I was one of the first. I'll always call you that. And and it's a term of endearment. <laughs> uh, what's that I understand? EPM is obviously a cute anime girl. I'm not wearing my um my 
my Crystal Maiden shirt tonight. So, <laughs> I mean, if I was wearing the Crystal Maiden shirt, that would really have sunk hard, wouldn't it? I would have actually dug deep, that one. Ah, oh, Stardust, you're actually... You're actually explaining it? He started streaming without a cam, and I assumed he was he was one right off the bat. And, and, and the rest is history, really. That's... That's kind of... That's kind of it. Um, okay, go for the garrisons. Oh, I can get more troops. Good, okay. Maybe... Where else can get more troops? Okay. Okay, get that one going. And then we go... Garrisons. Garrisons. Yeah. And we hope for the best. Uh, towers. Towers, yes, towers, towers. Setting a watch here. Which further At can once. we get? One more. Yes. Setting a watch here. Noble one. Yes, noble master. Setting a watch here. Setting a watch here. So we're putting sir. putting a lot of Rolexes out all over the over the At desert. Yes. A lot of sundials. At once. Lots of watches all over the place. A watch here. Yes, noble master. Over here. Tower down. Setting a watch here. And honor to serve. Okay. I love to see my 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 mines in the back, you know. Yes, noble Makes me feel master. really powerful. At once. See where, where all my wealth's coming yes. from. Setting a watch here. Okay, you're going around noble and around the mulberry bush. Get over here. Yes. Yeah, check one right. At once. Right on the road. Setting right in the corner. Yes. Setting a watch here. At once. Setting a watch here. I was here when he didn't even have a sub button. So you're one of the old guard, huh? At the beginning of time, when all I had was imagination and a dream, he didn't disappoint. <laughs> that is Stardust, Stardust, who was Stardust Immortal at the time, who's now Stardust Papega, um, was was here when when the runes were written. Yes. At once, your men are out of sight. Setting a watch here, noble one. Yeah, I think I've used all my generals. Oh, this guy uh, over here. Come over here. Good tower. Okay. As you will. That's pretty good. As long as we got vision kind of around the settlement here, that's good. Happy with that. Okay, you will see all. Have I got a mission to talk to the elves yet? I have not. Can I like yes, get the master. Anduin or something while we're As waiting. Give me a mission. As Let me talk will. to somebody. Yes, noble master. Yes, can founder of Rolex. I mean, we're setting watches everywhere. Ah, uh, now I understand. With understanding comes a new question. Like how you thought he was a cute anime girl. A cute anime boy I could see. <laughs> I just heard seductive breathing in the mic. When the runes were written at the end of 2021. Hey, were you there when the runes were written at the end of 2021? I don't think so. I don't think you're there. See, I, I want to talk to the Anduin Vale. Have I already got relations with the Woodland Realm? Maybe they've sent some... Maybe they've sent some elves south. No? But my relations with them are... So-so. <laughs> I don't know if I've ever seen that before. So-so. Oh, they're all so-so. Oh, what? I've never seen... I don't think I've ever seen so-so before. Relations are... So-so. Just... What's the elvish so -so. friend? Oh my goodness. Melon. Yes, my master? You have a proposition for us? <sighs> What's the elvish word for friend? Stardust, thank you so much for gifting five Melon. subs to the community. To Amon, to Cedar, to Billy, to Brisbane Baron, and to Michelangelo. What's the elvish word oh for friend? Oh my goodness. Stardust, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so much for Melon. the support. And, um... 
and uh, I appreciate it really, really much. Thank you so much. Time to What's pay the, the word for friend? tax. Oh, Silent Deputy, you dodged it, man. Melo. You dodged it. <laughs> you hold us at You're like Neo, you man. Know. Just dodged all those gifted subs. What's the Elvish word for friend? Another proposition for us, then. Melo. Give me a thousand gold. I'll take a thousand. Look at that. Anduin Val knows how to do a deal. Yeah, elves, talk to me. Goodbye. As you will. It was disappointing. We made a deal. Why is it? Why are you? Why are you upset, Anduin Val? Why is it disappointing? Everyone came out happy. You got to see what's happening down the south. Get your own little map reveal, and uh, you know, I got to, I got to get some of your money. I don't know what you're concerned about, really. Why one of my settlements had them earlier, but I'm still checking. Right. Okay, Amon canned. Yeah, let's let's get the military, get it up. So we can feel safe. On up as well. Military garrisons everywhere. More more by the way. More Rolexes. You guys wanted towers? Now you're getting towers. Yes. You're getting towers everywhere. Guess it's quite a crowd here. What's the elvish word for Oh, friend? Stardust. Oh my goodness, you fixed it. You have to the sub to Silent Deputy. Dude, Stardust, thank you so much. And Silent Deputy, you better be down on your down on your knees, man. At once. In ingratitude, I'll clarify that sent. In I'll clarify here. that sentence. Ingratitude. Yes, noble master. Yes, at once. Yes, at once. One more. Yes. Oh, look at that! Perfect range. Setting a watch here. Back there. Setting a watch here. An honor to serve. Here. Yes. Setting a watch here. At once. Well, our land goes here. quite a long way to the north here. Yes. I didn't realize it was this far north. Keep going. Setting a watch here. At once. We move at first. Yes. Uh, can you put a tower kind of on this hill here? At once. That looks good. We could lay a trap here. There we go. Okay, what about this guy? Have we moved him yet? No. More watchtowers. Yes. We get to see the map now. Everyone gets to see everything. At once. Yes. Come to here. At once. Wait a yes. Drop a watchtower down. Setting there we go. Yeah, I think. Oh yeah, we want. Yes, Looks like we're a little bit short of village vision over here. Your men are out of sight. Now I can Set really see that mountain here. range. I can really see it. <laughs> well, shit, you've just done yourself a lifelong friend. You can just leave a follow for the number. <laughs> Kaiserkum translates to Turkish. It means red sand. Um, Heavy D, welcome in. First time chat. Appreciate you coming in. And red sand. Is there some red sand around here? Kind of looks like the same color sand as everywhere else. Um, but Kaiselklum, I will now forever know as red sand, assuming I remember. The reddest of sand. You know why it'll be red? Because it'll be all the blood. All the blood spilled there. That's, that's what's going to occur. Um, okay. So we got money now. We need troops. This is, this is where it's like the greed is paid off and we need troops. So anytime we can recruit troops, we're getting troops now. Fitting for what might happen. Oh, Amon, can you... <laughs> are you gonna... Are you gonna uh, stop with the, the innuendos about how I'm gonna s unceremoniously die? Um... <laughs> Yes, please. All the brides. Everyone wants to be in my clan. Get over here. I'm honored to serve. Get over here as well. At once. Drop, a, drop a tower. Yes. Hey, I think we're almost it's finished our, our towering for now. This guy looks pretty good there. Um, he's done oh, one more down the south. Yes. Look, okay, one see. more down here. We could lay a trap here. We, yes. uh, Heavy D, thanks for the follow. Appreciate here. it, mate. Okay, they're all set. This guy... Yeah, I think I'm happy with my vision there. This is, you know what I need? Noble one. Need some more vision in my mountains. Setting ah, look at that. Here. Now I can see him clearly. Yes, this mine over here. 
I want to see it clearly. Let me see my mind. There we go. That's better. I'm keep an eye on my income. Uh, get over here. Put a watchtower down. Keep going. Setting a watch here. At once. Setting a watch here. Okay. We're all set now. Did I get a mission? I didn't. Okay, yes, wander up into Gundabad territory. That might give us a, a mission. As you win. Dale and Rune have gone to war. I just paid seven subs. Am I in your clan? Uh, look, the only ones being accepted in right now are, are, are brides. So... Uh, <laughs> so I mean, you've got a you've got a path in. Um, that that's that's your way in. Appreciate it, Reaper. Welcome in, mate. <laughs> he wants me to sim for him even harder. Uh, more military, more troops. Get it up. Get it up. You as well. More military. Gun. All troops now. See you, Khan. Uh, growth is a bit of an issue here, isn't it? Um, mm, hey, more growth. More growth. Look. My once poor little, little clan of Candish raiders are now a rich clan of Candic raiders with barely any troops um this is, this is i'm good concerned these guys are taking 10 turns to oh general yes you know what i could do okay let's get some of these let's get i'll chuck them into this fort here um because they can then ride somewhere pretty quickly let's let's get some of them uh since they are decent decent troops yeah no, anywhere else okay two turns away and we get some more turn 29 Oh, we're getting close. We're gonna have the blue, the uh, blue dwarves script soon, and then our blue wizard script isn't far behind. <laughs> I know what I have to do, but I don't know if the strength to do it. Billy, yeah, Sados gave you a uh, a gift sub. Welcome in, Billy. So if you're only accepting ladies. An EPM is a cute anime girl. Candace secretly the Amazonians. Ah, thanks for the hydrate, Billy. No, no, we're, we're not just we're not just made up of of the women, the ladies. We're saying the ladies are welcome, but we've got some strong, hardy, hardy men in there as well. You know, ah, where's this guy? Get over here. Noble one. A watch here. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright, uh, you know what? Down here, this looks like we need some vision. Come this way. There's Tomorrow's there's a there's a dark patch. Awaits. You know what? You are now you any dark patches. Light. You're gonna go bring bring light to the darkness. Get over there. Uh, you know what you can do? Uh, bit far, isn't it? Chuck a marauder horseman in there. I will leave it. It's fine. Okay, more garrisons. More troops. Can someone give me a mission? I'm wandering around up here. As you will. As you will. Talk to As me. You will. Give me something to work with. I see you're ignoring a, a specific unit there, the Marauders. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, I might recruit some. I might recruit like one, if if things look rough. But I'm certainly not going to be recruiting as many as I can. I think they recruit in one turn. They rumors from Ered Lewin. Okay, come on, dwarves, stand firm, stand firm. You can do it. Resist the power. They take one turn. Yeah, they're one turn recruits. So you know. We can we can get him in in a, in a single turn if if things are looking dire. Um, oh yes, okay, got some more. 
So what we'll do, since they're probably more expensive and they can ride fast, Orders. you lads come to here. What we'll do is we'll get all Tell of you over to here. Because the cab can, cab can get out and about. Um, I guess I'll grab that spy now. I guess we've got the money, so we'll we'll chuck him in. Yes, noble master. Yes. Setting a watch here, noble one. At once. Setting a watch here. They can be handy as fodder that is. Was that Sindar and Stardust? What Billy said. Uh, certainly looks like it doesn't. I didn't really. Even, I, I kind of saw it and thought it was it was a European language of which I didn't know, didn't have any familiarity. But actually, looking at it a second time, it certainly does look like Elvish, doesn't it? Chelka, 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 Chelka. What are we getting here? Troops. That's what we're getting. And garrisons. Go. And we'll do the the rounds. Any more spears and bows? Want a hardy line of spears and some bows to back them up. That's that's the plan. It's never let me down before. Can you yes, someone give me a damn mission? Let me yes, talk to you. I cannot go there. The missions were flowing so well. We we got all the diplomatic missions all the way to Erebor, and now neither Gundabad or Woods and Realm want to give me a mission to talk to him. I can tell you now, no European language is that elegant. Well, you're speaking to someone who has a single language of English, which has got to be the gumbiest, dodgiest language in the world. Doing in Resplendent, that's what I like to see. Sorry, Dwinian and Rune have just gone to war on turn 32. I'm pretty sure as the player, Rune declares war on you on like the first three turns. Okay. Right. We got a spy. Um, I guess we're going to use that spy in the north somewhere. Maybe. Keep, um, keep towering up. Setting a watch here. At once. Setting a watch here. Get down to this border. Rip. Yes. We move at first light. How may Jump I in. Start? Where's that cav? Still coming. Just need to make sure that I do get these. These infant, yeah, as soon as they're available, I need to grab them. Yeah, like this. This is why I kept checking. As soon as they're available, get them in there. Okay, we did get the growth going. Can get one more growth. Okay, we should yeah, get, the, get the garrison now. Okay, we're kind of looking decently prepared. I mean, I don't want to... <laughs> don't want to, like... Got another general. Do I have somewhere to chuck him? I think I've got a general, just a generic general in... Ah, uh, I don't have a generic general up here. Actually, we'll send you up there. We'll send you... Noble one. Up here. Tomorrow's because when we go to war, he'll be, he'll be moving out. We'll want a... Just a standard general in there to get the job done. I feel really proud of myself how I've how we've how we've conducted this. We we macroed our way to uh to a really good position at the moment. English is just a stitched up language made from various peoples that made Made the island home over here. Oh yeah, English is a mate. Believe me, 
Um, English is a mix of uh, Greek, Italian, well, when I say Greek, Greek, Latin, Italian later on, um, German, French, Spanish, um, pretty much all the Scandinavian countries, Celtic, Gaelic, um, <laughs> uh, probably Portuguese, there'd probably be a Portuguese in there. Um, I don't know about Russian. Might be some Russian. Um, yeah, it's it's uh it's it's just a mix of everything. It's an absolute minefield. I can't like growing up speaking English, it wasn't too bad, but I can't even imagine trying to have to learn English. Like it is oh, Fleeter is dead again. It's so so bad. And spelling is horrendous. Like, spelling in English just doesn't make any sense. It's, it's ridiculous. Setting a watch here. At once. Setting a watch here. An honor to serve. Yes. Setting a watch here. Tomorrow's journey awaits. It's actually not that hard in your opinion. Uh, were you English first, first language? Or second language? Maybe it's just that because I know... I know there are things about the language that just don't match up. It just doesn't make sense. There are so many spelling rules and things that are just not consistent. Like, it's inconsistent is, is the word for it. Just so inconsistent. But I guess, you know what? I'm just sick of not talking to these guys. We need to keep him moving. Um, trade rights... You hold us very well. What else do you Give me some money. Give me a thousand gold. So keep moving. This seems good day to you. Maybe that'll as kick him going will. again. We'll get to as talk to Gundabad or something. As you will. We're a nice, a nice little force here, actually. Uh, and you are going over to here. We march. Yes, noble good. master. Nice little force of troops. And remember, we do have the mercenaries on standby as well. <laughs> you live in England and I know our language is dumb and we made you suffer. <laughs> Boys, let me tell you how hard Hungarian is and I'm learning from my girlfriend. It's nothing like all the language I know and it's frustrating AF, yeah. And Australia is even worse because we have Australianized all English language. So what remnants of the English language that was even somewhat sensible is now gone in Australia? Like it's, it's just, <laughs> it's, it's so bad. Uh, it's Delirtha Khan. Okay, so, so now we've got some choices. Because we've got our garrison. I, I wanted the fountains. That's what I want. I want fountains to get the healing trait. Same thing here. Can we get the fountains? Does he still have one, two, three, four? Yeah, he's got sl he's got slots. I want the healing traits on everyone. Books of Gundabad and Angmar have gone to war. Okay, interesting. Where's my tower man? Here he is. Noble one. Noble one. I like the way this guy talks to me. Using the cover of these trees. Noble one. Setting a watch here. An honor to serve. Setting a watch there here. Noble one. Setting a watch here. At once. Somewhere that I didn't queue up units before. Where was it? Was it here? Not sure. Now uh, down here, were you? Yeah, here it was. Get those. How are we going? We're still making a fair bit of money each turn. So we're not out doing our, uh, yes, our bank. As you will. Uh, did you miss anything being the last hour? No, we're kind of just burning through turns. We put we put towers down. Baron Killer, we have towers everywhere. I think it was you who was asking for it, wasn't it? We, we've got towers. This guy's going around putting towers um, anywhere, anywhere we've missed, but we have towers all over the joint. Um, that is currently what, we're, what we've been doing, and we're getting military buildings everywhere we can as well. That's currently where we're at 
We're burning down to the blue wizard script. Can't wait for you to pull a Bradbury in this game. Ah, oh, sorry. Well, so managed to lose your Prime Minister while swimming and you named a fucking pool after him. <laughs> Look, there's a, lot of, there's a lot of niche details about Australia that not a lot of people know, okay? <laughs> don't. Don't. They rejected the gift. Mm, I'm with you. I'm with you, dwarves. Damn straight. <laughs> well done. I'm happy for you. Reject those. Reject the the pull of of Sauron. As you will. I have come to the end of today's road. So <laughs> no, you lost an emu war. Uh, I mean, it's funny that everyone mentions that. It's it's not even a big deal. Like it's nothing. <laughs> it's nothing. It's it's something that's like one of those almost YouTube clip clickbait things. Um. Setting a watch here. Yes, noble master. But you know what it does do is it is it kind of builds up that picture of Australia that already everyone has that everything here is trying to kill you. Or, you know, slap you down so they can survive as well. Um, which which is a nice is a nice reputation to have. Um, oh, look at this. Right. Military garrison. Have we got the public fountains? That's next up. Fountains. We've got the public fountains here. Look at this. It's all coming together. Um, so now... You know what I reckon? Let's get some leather tanners. Public fountains, we've got them. Ah, oh, we need second tier. Military. And then... This was military. Ah, uh, get the public fountains. Good. Now right, let's just get those fountains. Get a little bit of growth everywhere, but also get us those fertility traits. Noble one. Yes, my master. I'm honored to serve. Runs happy. Runs good. Grab that marauder. Chuck, we'll chuck him in this. Um, actually, is there any better? Yes, noble one. They're kind of better. How may I serve? Back them into there. You can come over here. Yes, they kind of better. Get them in there. Also, same thing over here. We had some mercenaries. Are there mercenaries here? Orders. They're pretty nice. Um, the mercenaries here. You two jump into there. And let's chuck, yeah. Um, the two the lads back in. Noble one. Okay, yeah, this is this is some nice units, some cell swords, Rondor Mercs. Yes, noble master. Look, we're getting troops. It's happening. Does the script start at turn 40? I don't know. Uh, I, it's it's after we've had the Dwarven script, the uh, Blue the blue Mountains Dwarf script, and I know it's after that. So I, I think it could be like any turn now. I, I don't particularly know. I'm not sure, but it's I would say definitely in the next six turns, I'm thinking, Noble one. would be my Otherwise. thought. Setting a watch here. Yes. Setting yeah, so that's watch here. full vision. An honor to Over here, actually. Get over here. At once. Put some put some over against this border. And I think it's just down, yeah, along this border down here. We can send him for a send him for a stroll. You have enough units ready? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not sure. Uh, what did we just build here? 
Ah, for Panthers. Okay, let's get some Leather Tanners. Let's get some armor on our troops. Armor on low tier troops is disproportionately good. Um, yeah, let's just back in them up. Okay. Let's get... Let's get some roads. We can transport these troops around a little better if we need to move them. Make sure we get them from place to place. Get one turn on those. Six. Jump in. How may I serve? Got some mercenaries up. Kind of, there's some settlements that are a little bit low on troops. Like this one here. But I've got some mercs I can grab there. So I'm not too concerned. This one's got the garris, the um the fort lads to help out. Um are we getting a garrison? Yeah, we just need to keep the keep them rolling in. Your will, as you will. Mr. Goblins. Bring a for my Very Do poor. Think something else Give me a thousand. To suggest? I'll t I'll take a thousand. Give me a thousand in the hand. No tax on it. I'll happily accept that one. Yeah, keep moving north. Still 5k turn, very nice. Yeah, this is why I was so particular early. Because I said, this was the way I, way I gauged this campaign was basically, if you go blue wizards good, you've got nothing going on, right? There's pretty much nothing going on. You take a couple of settlements, you clear out some some rebels here and there, um, and then you've got nothing happening. So to me, that is the the modders screaming at you, be efficient. Like you're going to need, like we are surrounded by three allies. No other campaign in this mod are you surrounded by three allies, All right? Now admittedly, those three allies are gonna become enemies very soon. But that to me is like use every yes. skerrick of advantage that you can that you here. can muster to try and get the most out of out of these turns that you're given. Because once once like the grace period is down, it's um <laughs> it's just gonna be on. Okay, uh, more more troops over here. Grab those. Leather Tanner, we can retrain. Okay. Get those ones and then. Some retraining. Uh, yep. Yeah. Next one. And. Yep, Leather Worker. Yep, just focus on the military. Yes, my master. As you will. Best thing here. Yeah, this diplomat has got me. This diplomat's probably earned me about seventeen thousand gold. Honestly, he's been he's been working hard. Okay. That's a lot of step, lads. Yeah. Yeah. Now, these rebellions. These rebellions. Now, now Amon's kind of been hinting that they're pretty savage, which has kind of got me a little bit concerned. Like, they can't be more than a stack. Surely. It's got to be surely a stack. Oh, here we go. Okay. Rumors from the east. Khan. I bring you news that could prove of dire consequence to us if it possesses verily. Possesses ver verity. Rumors have reached us from the east, coming on trade caravans and spread across one clan to another through riders, speaking of great chaos and battles. Due to the many sources of these tales, their contents are contradictory. Some speak of a great host of dwarves that have descended upon, descended from the Orokani to pillage and devastate the clans. 
Others speak of clans that, once sane, have become mad overnight, turning away from the Dark Lord and forsaking their lands to wage war on their friends or flee from the lands devoted to the Dark Tower. Most rumours speak, however, of two figures, clad in blue, that walk the plains, leaving naught but chaos in their wake. Some writers claim these are only servants of the Dark Tower that have been dispatched by the Dark Lord to test us. And if we yield to their offers, we shall be struck down by the Dark Lord and our clan and its memory shall be purged and classed into oblivion. I, however, read in my youth of the Astari, an order of beings akin to the Dark Lord that serve the treacherous Valar and seek to cast our Lord into the abyss. I fear they may be of this order and their aim is to seduce us away from the Dark Lord and deceive us into a war with the Dark Tower. I have spoken to many riders and the rumours have been moving west towards us with the speed of our finest horses. We may be drawn into a confrontation with them very soon and when that moment comes we'll be forced to yield to them or fight them and the vast horde rumours and the vast horde rumours state they have gathered. Okay. Okay. Retrain some more. Um, yeah, I think we'll... Oh, they take two turns, don't they? So let's get those going. And then retrain. That. Uh, we're not going to fight them. We're fine. They're, 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 not, they're not the issue, right? Um... It's going to be everyone else. Blue wizards, again, they're going to be on our side. They're called the pog wizards, they're coming to save us. Um, okay. Three turns. Yes, noble Go over master. here. Yes. Build some towers. Setting a watch here. We cannot travel there. At once. We cannot travel there. Yeah, do. I don't think I'll be able to place a tower here because there's a village. No. Okay, come back, come back this way. I'll do that. Yes. Keep riding, good sir. You'll see. He has no idea. Oh my goodness. Just I th I think I think you guys are overhyping it. Okay, I think there's no way, there's no way that they would make it too difficult for the average player to defend against. We got, we got, we got, we got, we got troops here. We got a garrison as well. Let's get the leather tanner. We got to get a blacksmith to get our higher tier of um, war camp anyway. So yeah, we're working on that. We got long term plans here. Um, let's get, let's get the blacksmith. Um, yeah, blacksmith. Uh, we're, we're getting improvements. We're making things better. This, this, this one here is a little bit concerning. This one's got plenty. This one's a little concerning. This one, we've got the, we've got the... Like fort here, so that's kind of not as bad. This one we've got the fort. Now this one I can get mercenaries, right? Yeah, I can get some cell swords and some fire room mercs, so that's that's pretty good. This one, yes, it's the same mercenary pool, which is a bit of a problem. So I can only grab them somewhere. Hmm. I guess these cav can. How far can they move? They're out of range. They are out of range. Hmm. I, know, I, I believe. Your will. As you will. As you will. My spearmen and bowmen will be just fine. I don't know what you guys. Uh, honestly, it's 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 frankly getting disrespectful. <laughs> it's it's frankly being disrespectful. The amount of the amount of lack of trust you have in my in my spears and bows. Okay? I'm gonna give them some great armor, some leather 
some leather armor. And anything that attacks us, they will be able to defend against. I believe. <laughs> Sounds like good copium. Maybe I'm just better than all of you, you know? Maybe I'm just better. Huh? Yeah? So whatever, so whatever. It looks good to bad. Good, we got one. Here we go. Yes, my master. As you wish. You have something to discuss with us? Do not think very well. What else would you like to discuss? What else would I like to discuss? You giving me a thousand gold. Excellent. Not a bad effort. We shall goodbye. Jolly good. As you will. As you will. Okay. What did we get? We get a tier of blacksmith, did we? It looks like we got a tier of blacksmith. Yeah. Um, yeah, next to it. Go for it. Um, do the spears first. Spears first. Okay. Once again, check for... Oh, retraining? No. Check for any groups available. Suns must be in close. Three turns. Come on, three turns. Three turns. Two turns. I'm you are sir. going this way. At once. We move at first light. Down to here. Tomorrow's journey awaits. Now remember, we can get the Marauders as well. Um, kind of holding them. We're holding them off. <sighs> so the Blue Wizards are going to come. They said they were moving fast. That was turn 36, wasn't it? I mean, they got to come. they got to be any turn now, right? Is it literally going to be turn 40? Maybe it's a nice symmetry to that. The low tier spears and bows will be fine. I believe in you. <laughs> um, hang on, hang on, hang on. I missed a bit. I missed a bit here. Sorry. Uh, look, I've seen EPM pull out some big plays. Are you better because you're EPM or you are uh, EPM because you are better than us? I, I, neither? I don't know. However, I've also seen him get pretty cocky. <laughs> yeah, the low tier spears and bows will be fine. I believe in you. You're better than me, that's for sure. Oh, it's just so much sarcasm. Gondorian Splendor. Look at it. Look at it. Look at it. Ah. Oh. So, 2,000 gold as well. Noble one. Everyone, everything's going great. Yes. It's coming up Millhouse. It's all line. coming up Millhouse. Um, what do we got? Construction. Okay, lots of lots of retraining. Yeah, yeah, get get some get some retraining in here. Get these fellas. Retrain them up. Train them up. Uh, you can get some get some more. Yep, more of that. Anyone else? Two turns. Okay. Train. Armor. These fellas haven't got armor, but I guess that's whatever. We're we're training all these ones at the moment. Angmar, Angmar, give me give me something to talk to Angmar. I'd like to talk to you. Give me some gold. Sauron with the gifts, the fool. I know, right? He doesn't know. He doesn't know. How has he not heard about the blue wizards? Hope you're having a great night, Silence. Everyone's, everyone's retraining. This is two turns. 
very concerned about this here. This this looks. Yeah, you know what? Just get these marauders. I, this this seems low, and it's very much isolated. The settlement is very isolated from everywhere. It hasn't got any forts nearby. Um, like this is these two settlements kind of support each other, at least with the cav. Um, same thing here. Like he could technically make it, like if I needed support somewhere. But this one is is isolated, so we'll get the marauder here. Maybe he's testing you. Yeah, he's trying to buy me off. I'm not in the mood. Not in the mood to be bored off, Sauron. It's not gonna happen. Go try yes, elsewhere, okay? Go try elsewhere. Come on, blue wizards. I'm ready for you. I'm ready for you. Bring it on. I'm ready for the damn aqua wizards. The teal wizards. Not just the blue wizards. <laughs> Give me the violet wizards. The turquoise wizards. You leave me hanging, boys. I mean, I guess you give me more turns. Every turn that I get, I guess, is... is another turn. Um... Train... Oh, is that the top tier of armory? Blacksmith, it's up. Okay. Uh, well, I guess we can go Nomadic Gathering Grounds. Get wool at all. I'm confident. I'm confident. Chelka. Yep, more. Um, that. What, what did I just build? Oh, military garrison. Gee. I had some troops available then, so is there any more this turn? No, they're building. They're good. They're retrained. He's retraining. They're retraining. Over down in the south. Do that one up. Ah, uh, you know what? I think I've got enough money. I'm. Um, uh, yeah, that one can go. I want these guys to get traits. Have they got the? I want him to go very high taxes at some point. Just get him to high so he doesn't get negatives. Um, I have him on very high. See this guy, has he got it? Where is it? He's been on very high for a while. Thorough taxman plus 20% taxes plus one unrest. Yeah. I think there might, that's that's what I'm looking for. These high tax. Yes, yeah, so that, that needs to go up to at least high so he doesn't get bad traits. That can get a, get a very high. Okay, just go high. An honor to serve. At once. Tomorrow's journey awaits. Over here. here. This guy's, I mean, yes, he's, he's a wind rider. He literally is riding around all of Cairns, just setting up, setting up watchtowers everywhere. Yes, my master. I have a mission to talk to anyone. Will. Nope. Can't make your way down this way. As you will. Tomorrow's journey awaits. Baby blue wizards. Aquamarine wizards. I feel like you're summoning the Power Rangers wizards force. <laughs> Forget me not blue wizards. <laughs> I'm gonna forget him soon if they don't turn up. Get here, wizards! What are you doing? A wizard is never is never late. He arrives exactly, exactly when he's needed. I guess we're going to lose trade as well with, um, 
the others. So that'll be that'll be a problem. Guess that'll dip our income a fair bit. Okay, we're still still got some time. Uh, I guess. Guess the military camp. Some retraining. I need, to, I need to check everywhere in a moment. I'm honored to serve. Yes. Setting a watch here. At once. Setting a watch here. Yes. This is purely because Setting I like to see everything. <laughs> There's nothing going to be coming from down here. Yeah, you're welcome in, Trinitog. These men be like, this isn't why I signed up to be a bodyguard. I mean, I think they'd be pretty happy, wouldn't you? You just get to ride around the countryside, setting up towers, you know. Like, not, not... I mean, they've been in a little bit of a fight, but then that was... They've had... They've wetted their blades. Then they've uh, been able to... Oh, yes, this is what we want. Give me more. Yes! Give me more troops. Down here, no? Uh, okay, what we want to do first is... Get those, and then retrain. <laughs> get the troops first, retraining can come later. Yep, get those two. Right. As you will. If this game had attrition, they would be dying. No, they wouldn't. They'd had a, they would have immunity to desert attrition. If this was Attila, like think about uh, the Vikings or whatever, that right up in the north, the northern faction that has immunity to winter attrition. These guys would have immunity to desert attrition. I'm, I'm, I am the desert faction. Mm, I'll eat sand. Damn straight. And you'll be happy about it. Saddle sores, sand worms, and sand flies. Yes. You don't see how these guys are dressed? They've got like the whole, um, the get up going, covering their, covering their faces. They're fine. Get down here. At once. You want to complain? I'll send you into these mines to... <laughs> I'm honored to serve. Yes. I'll send you in the mines. A watch here. How far south does this At go? Once. Setting a watch here. Yes. <laughs> okay. All the way down here. We found a line. we found a labor camp. An excellent trade resource all the way down in the south. Um Seems good. Seems like a fair idea. Okay, can we just go around and check the train? Right, I'm starting to feel pretty good. Like, what could they possibly have? <laughs> like, we got, we got defenders. We're in defensive situations. With spears and bows. Like, that's as good as it gets. What garrison tier do you have? Tier 2. Everywhere except down here, I think. I think everywhere has got tier 2 garrison except for... I hope they've got tier 2 garrison. Yeah, everywhere except for that very yes, southern... Um, As you will. One. As you will. I mean, where they, what they lack yes, in uh, in garrison tier, they make up for in watchtowers. So, <laughs> I'll, I'll be able to see them coming. I can guarantee you of that. Uh... <laughs> What I can do about it once I see them coming, that's that's the next question. Oh, this has been, what, eight turns now since we got the message saying the blue wizards were coming? Surely. They said they were moving, like, incredibly quickly. One unit of temple wards is probably enough to kill, like, four step spears. Nah. One step spear can take a temple ward. Towers, men. Towers. You just 
You just gotta hold them near the towers, man. Don't you know how to defend? Just... It's not about killing them with your troops, it's about abusing towers. As you will. As you will. As you will. As you will. Resting here. Now, on the open field, yeah, one temple ward could probably take out like <laughs> five or six of my steps pyramid. But we're not on the open field, are we? Not oh, will they get hammered by my step archers. Trisman, my archers, everything. It's all gonna it's all gonna work. Okay, we got more of that. Um, okay, so then we go to Nomadic Gathering Grounds, two turns, sure. Oh yep, more of those, thank you. Um, this one. Everyone's training up. Okay, grab more of those. Now we do have the one Marauder here, so I, I feel feel pretty safe with that. Now we can do some shenanigans with a cab unit. Yes, my master. Oh, where's my? Oh, this is the most important part of the turn. I forgot. Honor to serve. At once. Yeah, here. baby. <laughs> let's yes. let's get some vision along this Setting southern border. This is what I'm talking about. Setting a watch here. Over here. Yes. Tomorrow's journey away. Those first tier towers aren't exactly the be all and end all. Uh, you you are you are correct about. That. I'm starting to lose money. You are correct about that. The the tier one towers not great, but the tier two towers. Are really good now have i checked what tier all my settlements are no no of course not um <laughs> the reason you always click on the tower icon when placing the tower uh no i believe i can just not click on it and it still places it i like to click I'm a gamer i click things and I kind of am used to there being a fort option as well. So actually having to select what um, what I'm clicking. Yes, like, At like once. I'm used to there being a fort here. So you're actually having to, to click. And there's a nice green tick. I mean, I know. I know. I could just go like that. A watch here. I know. <laughs> there's... Let me, let me, is that better? Is that better? Is that, is that, we're not, we're not hurting the, uh, the OCD as much now? That, are we feeling better about ourselves? Oh, hello, we can get some units. Um, I mean, yeah, sure, let's, I feel like we've got a lot of archers. Relax on the archers. Um, I want some more of them. Okay, that's good. We talk to the elves. Can we get in there? Yes, we can. Hello. Oh, Gildor's still alive. Good. He's actually a pretty good general, so if he's commanding these forces, they still have a chance to... They still have a chance to win if Gildor's here. Seems like... Well, that seemed fruitful. Farewell. As you will. I have come to the end of today's road. Saves up like one second. <laughs> yes, much better. Another one of those click happy games. I play Dota, man. I, I click. I'm a clicker. Um, this, this is this is my life. 
Maybe saves your hand cramping up. You know, what? It, it's probably not going to do much for the hand cramping. What it will do is it'll probably save a month on my on my mouth on my on my mouth on my mouse. You know, probably um, will mean that I'm. <laughs> hey, what? Get these damn mines. Get some mines. We're starting to run, run out of money again, so we don't we need the next tier of military. Just get the mines. That's much better. I'm honored to serve. Um, like I'm set. I'm ready for whatever they want to. Whatever they want to throw at me, really. Um. Like I don't think I can be much more prepared. I think I have. Yeah, like we're 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 ready to go. Let me. Send it. Send it. Are you really though? Pycanic? Am I really prepared? <sighs> Think so? Once again, I think I've pretty much played it to this point about as, as good as you could. Now I reckon about 10% of players would be min-maxing as much as I have. Now, they've got to make the game so that it's not for the 10% of players. It's got to be so it's for, for you know, casuals, or you casuals out there. Yes. I mean, the modders are pretty hardcore, though. At once. <laughs> maybe... Setting a watch here. Yes. Maybe, maybe it isn't. Tomorrow's journey awaits. Get some, get some cap here. You know what? Get, get, get the mines. Oh, I need more military buildings. I'm, I'm all set. Um, these. Get some more blacksmith. See you can Yeah, get, get the next tier. Absolutely. Go for it. Have a ball. I'm honored to serve. Wait, if Gilda is high lord, what happened to the twins? They pro they probably died. They did. They the elven uh, faction leader died again. So I'd say both twins are gone. The twins are gone. It's a shame. It's a, it's a sad day. Um, As you will. Get off the greys here. Your will. We'll try and get a mission As to talk to them. We'll come this way. Get Bree and Dunedain all together. Come to the end of today's road. Oh, we are really losing cash right now. Okay, we gotta stop building units. Stop building units. Just um Yeah. Ninety percent of players probably don't pick can though. Yeah. This is true. Have I? No, I'm fine, Ammon. I'm almost soon. You're all so confident. You're all so confident that I'm in. I'm in absolute dire straits. Got a nice little, nice little kingdom carved out for me here. Dolgador expands. Okay. And doing falters. Not yet. I mean, every turn that passes, I get stronger. Okay, I leave three slots for the garrison, so we're we're like fully we're fully kitted out here. Chelkar, yeah, get some more retraining. Four units here as well. I think I'll just retrain any units, but then I don't need to get any more. Um, the mines. We're out of money. Look, Mako. Some of that. And yeah, more mines. Okay.
did want to have some money for mercenaries, didn't I? Although, I'm really starting to think I probably don't even need them. I've got that many troops. This was the only one that I was slightly concerned about. I've got a half stack here now, plus garrison. So, yeah, I think, I think I'm just, I think I'm just fine. I think I'm actually... Yes, my master. As you wish. I mean, I can defend As against a will. lot with half a stack. This thing here... I can tell you that when I played Can, this is not what I did. Expecting the choice to have happened already, to be honest. Yeah, well, I forgot to, I forgot to do towers. Oh my goodness, this will be it. The turn I forgot to do towers, it's going to happen. As a consequence for my lack of diligence and and spotting, there's going to be some sort of recompense. We punish for it, which is actually a reward. Here we go. The Khan and the Astari. Khan! Let's, let's move over to our capital. Okay. Right. <sighs> Khan, I am deeply sorry to interrupt your feast, but the Astari, the blue wizards I spoke of, have been sighted on the horizon and are fast approaching the camp. I fear we must make ourselves ready to receive them as we cannot fight them with such short notice. Such short notice? Boy, have you seen my garrison? I'm ready to fight anybody. Taking your throne, you made ready to entertain the blue wizards. After a few minutes, the two Astari swept into the tent, clad in robes of sky blue. Sky blue. Not turquoise. Not baby blue. Sky blue and clutching simple staves carved of the dark wood of the plains. The two bowed to you. Oh, I like that. And began to address you. O oh, great Khan, leader of the diverse and mighty people of Kand, Kand, Kand Kand, and your retinue. We are the Blue Wizards. I'm Alatar and my companion is Palando. We've come to you to ask of you a harrowing task. One that you will be, one that will be the most difficult you have ever faced. But in its undertaking, your people shall become more prosperous and your memory shall be enshrined in your legends for ages to come. We ask you to abandon Sauron and join us. Your deeds will be in marble and your foes in sand. At the mention of the Dark Lord's name, some of your retinue jeered at the her 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 heretical act the Astari had committed. Others spat at the Astari due to their sheer absurdity of the request. Palando undeterred continued I, re I lost my spot <laughs> undeterred by the jeering we know this goes against all of your tradition and your beliefs but you serve a lord who treats you as mere pieces upon the board willing to throw away as many lives as it takes without consideration as long as he accomplishes his goals. Furthermore, he values you even less than he does his other servants, for you are divided and scattered, and in his eyes you are nothing compared to the unified hammers of Harad and Rune. Well, that's got my tail up. It is those two who will be rewarded if Sauron claims dominion over Middle-earth. Your clan shall only be tossed scraps. If you desert him, you can forge a new golden age for Kand, one in which you will be beholden to no one. Furthermore, not only shall we and our host join you, for you are our final destination as Khan, but the Orokhani shall serve you and they shall grant you the secrets of the crossbow. If you do align with us, however, we fear we dwell too close to the shadow of Mordor and Sauron will easily be able to send an Inquisitor to crush our rebellion. Hence, we shall need to fight against foes from every side. We know this is a fateful decision for you, so we shall give you the night to think it over. The two Astari and your retinue left your tent, leaving you with your advisor. Khan, I see now why many clans join them. Their offer is compelling and does ring true. However, I think if we were to deny them, the Dark Lord may reward us, perhaps with the knowledge of taming the great beasts. The Inquisitor, the Astari spoke of, would be granted to us as a reward along with the service of his troops. Is this, is this Sauron's, like, bitch talking to us right now? Seems to know a lot about what Sauron would do. I think he may be a black Numenorian, so perhaps we would be granted the service of Mordor's famed Temple Legions. 
With such rewards from the Dark Tower, we could prove that we are worth more than scraps and defy the destiny they foretold of us under the Dark Lord. Our people would even find you a truly great leader in the end. What are you trying to say? I'm not truly a great leader already? Man, this guy needs to get executed. In the end, however, it is your decision, my Khan. Damn straight it is. And off with your head. If we wish to accept the offer of the Astari, click the green tick. If we refuse, click the red. This is confusing because the, the first time we had to hit, hit the red cross to say we didn't want to go horde start. And now we want to go. We're not hitting the cross. We're hitting the tick. If we wish to accept the offer of the Astari, click the green tick. I do wish to accept the offer of the Astari. The dwarves will come. The Astari will come and we will kick Sauron out of Mordor. Rebellion erupts. The following morning, you told the two blue wizards your answer to their proposal. Can would join with them. Upon hearing this, the two Astari were struck speechless until Palando addressed you, Great Khan. Know your decision is the right one, despite choosing the hard path, the path that will demand a price in your people's blood. At the end of it, they shall be prosperous in a land where they shall be beholden to none but themselves. Alatar then continued, We, our clans and the Orokani are now under your command. Together we shall strike a blow to the enemy that shall cripple him, and that blow shall shatter the manacles of slavery your people wear. We cannot linger here, however, for not all of your people will join us. For well, they are still blinded by the enemy's lies and an inquisitor from Mordor shall be dispatched to quell our uprising. We must go to call upon our force that awaits us. We shall return with reinforcements with the utmost haste. Know now, your people will rebel against you and those you have once thought loyal will turn to the Dark Tower instead and attempt to kill you in the name of the enemy and you shall even have to bear the brood of the Temple Legions commanded by a dread inquisitor. Stand firm and await our coming. Oh. I will stand firm. I will stand firm. Okay. I'm excited. Oh, I'm freaking into it now. I'm going to stand firm. You think I'm not going to stand firm? I'm standing firm. Um, we got no goals. <laughs> um, we want mines. We wanted more mines, didn't we? Oh, we have refuges now. Okay, so we lost our... So I might need to check my tax policies. Um, <laughs> Q stall, of course. Yep, we're out of money. Okay. That looks good. Everyone looks good. Everyone's retraining. Everyone's happy. Damn, this man is standing. There is room for one or two more towers. <laughs> there is. You're right. Let's get those towers in. We've got some money. Um, down here, yep. I mean, we got. I mean, we all the way to the border. Are we? Are we? Are we enemies now with them? Oh shit. <laughs> we we definitely are. Okay, we need towers up so we can see them coming. Uh, okay, up to there as well. Yes, so we are now current. So we've lost our trade. So we're now enemies with Ardenaim, Harad, Rune, and Mortar. So our once peaceful borders are now completely the opposite. We now are going to be fully surrounded instead of by allies, by enemies. <sighs> Let them come. Oh, yeah, tra retrain them. Retrain them. Anyone? Anyone who needs retraining? Was that. Here we go. Let him come. Let him come. <sighs> yeah. Dude, where's our where's our diplomat at? Your will. Yes, my master. As you will. As you will. Tired of your will. As you will. Yeah, we are really out of money now. Hey, right. hit me with it, blue wizards! At the first light of the fifth day, 
look for our coming at dawn look to the east okay <sighs> we're gonna look for the coming of the of the blue wizards I don't, I, I don't think we're at all concerned I think we're concerned we're fine everything is fine it's not fine why is my shit burning <laughs> why is why are things burning unrest spreads there's public unrest and riots in Chelkar. it's highly probable there'll be an uprising 559 citizens were killed in riots 559 citizens 774 citizens oh my goodness um my people are dying uh but we didn't lose any soldiers i oh, didn't lose any soldiers what are you guys worried about what are you worried about? Uh, but there's going to be an uprising. Okay, so we we now we go in. All right, you fellas, in there. So that's that's as much as we got there. We, we got a little bit less here, but that's okay. That's okay. We're all good. We're all good. Everyone's happy. Fine. No yes, problems here. As you will. I cannot go there. I um, go there. Yeah, I mean, I can I can build some towers. Think, you think these uprising gonna stop me from building towers? Yes. Absolutely not. A watch here. Get over here. At once. Build more. Setting a watch here. Yes. Setting a watch uh, here. I've missed a spot. I've, we have to go back. We've missed a spot. There's a spot here that hasn't got tower. Um, okay, we've pretty much almost got full vision of our borders now. Like, there's not going to be any surprises coming. Uh, this corner though, yes. can we get Noble can we get a little tower down? At once. Little tower down there. Yes. Yeah. Setting a watch here. Yeah, that's the ticket. That's the ticket. Now we can see it's cool. It's nice. Okay. Um, there were some mercenaries we could get here. I'm honored to serve. We get a fire rune merc. Yes, noble master. We'll grab one. At once. We'll grab one. Couldn't afford, couldn't afford the cell sword. EPM when the civilians die. Oh no. Anyway. <laughs> literally, this is fine me. <laughs> uh, the, that culture, I think, changed, did it? Yeah, nomadic. We're now nomadic culture, so we get refuges. So I think we lost all of our... Yeah, like we had... Um, we had tier one... We had tier one structures, right? We, we don't get them anymore. But, Orokani, where's the Orokani buildings? Are they here? Get them yet? Yo, where's my Orokani buildings? I mustn't get them until the until they come back. I guess that would make sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Can't, I can't get them yet. Right. No. I, I'm, I'm not too keen about people dying because I lose money from taxes. That's... Really big price. Has he got the trait yet? Uh, he's got battle surgeons. Good with taxes? No, he needs more. More very high taxes. Um, can you go very high? Yeah, yeah. Go very high taxes. We want, we want, we want the trait. Then we'll drop it back down to high. Cruelly exacting taxman. That's the one. Plus thirty percent. So you can now drop back to high taxes. Once they get the cruelly exacting taxman, um, we we drop them back down. Get very high. Oh, you can't get very high. I don't like it. Okay. Yeah, if I could only grab that cell sword, then everything would have been fine. That's right. Can't lose with a cell sword. But instead, I got a fire room merc. So <laughs> the tales of fate are, are cruelly woven. Oh, that's manageable. What do you got? Enemy lay siege. We will show them no fear. It's manageable. I will defend. I mean, what's in the army? My life. What's in the army? It's just fine. It's not even a full stack. It's not even a full stack. What are you guys being worried about? It's fine. Oh. 
All thanks, final stand. Send to Northern Dunedain. Yeah, we can do that. We can go to Northern Dunedain. Fellas. As you what is it you wish to discuss? This seems Everyone loves me now. Everyone loves me now. Um, one thousand two hundred. I'm, I'm short of cash again. I'm, I'm, I'm pushing the coin. It's good. The pleasure was all ours. As you will. Oro's journey awaits. Obamari. Yeah, we're where we training units. More mines? Oh, mining networks up. Yeah, sweet. Let's let's uh. I guess we want want some culture, don't we? Now, so we want some culture. Um. Okay, can't do anything there. See you, Khan. Oh yeah, I mean that, that's a that's a good one. Let's get that one going. I can almost smell the copium. I have nothing. Oh, to say wait, to it's you. all coast. Four coast, Haradrum Spearmen, Haradrum Archers. Ah, this is fine. Nothing wrong. I mean, surely, I mean, does it get harder than this? Or is this... Forget you ever who the hell is this? You will forget you saw me. No. Not any of that. Go away. Uh, we, mi we missed, we missed a... Yes. Oh, I don't need to click on it. Okay. Setting a watch here. Over here. At once. Setting Over a here. watch here. Noble one, we move Let's at first light. Get those towers up. Important. Okay. Um, I might just throw in just a standard. I feel like we have some battles here. I haven't done it like in my normal save. Just throw in a save here for a while. Throw in that one. Okay. Where are the sand balrogs? <sighs> They're too scared of me, mate. I'm too strong. Gets hard when they take the performance enhancing enhancement drugs. Let them take them. Let's make it a little bit difficult. Look, we we pretty much... In fact, we outnumber them. No, they outnumber us. They outnumber us by like 100 troops. This is... This is it's like one good unit here. Look. And show you guys how to defend. Okay. Not one of us shall fail to keep all in battle. I could probably defend against this with half the number of troops I have. Legit, half the number of troops I could defend against this. I uh, like I'll I'll be interested how many troops I lose. Um, right, so you're gonna go out this way. Right, come over here. Yeah, well, you'll have to run out. So you two can go out the side gate. You can go with them. One, two, three. Then we want archers. Only use half my army. Okay. You? What, what is going on here? Oh, because I'm still selecting all of them. Yeah. I'll fire then. Who are you? Yeah. Uh, no, not you. Over it. I'll fire. Don't don't throw anything. We're apparently not using you. Um. Might use you though. I need someone here. Um, I don't know, apparently not using it. Okay, you just come around here. Right here. Uh, let's use the archers. Alright, so. Uh, who am I not going to use? So, we're not going to use you. You can stay here. 
One, two. Uh, so you three are not going to use. We don't even need to use the cab archer. Honestly, yeah, we'll not use you either. You'll be in the not used category. Um, let's not use one of these. You not use one of yous? Come over it. Uh, so that's one, two, three, four, five, two, three. And then we're not going to use. You. Over here. Two, three. One more. One more. Who else don't I need? Probably one of these guys. Yeah, okay, over there. Good. Alright. Uh, do I want to use the general? Yeah, because I want to chase things down. No, I don't need to chase things down. They're neutral. But I might want to... I want to shoot some things. Yeah, we'll, we'll keep them. Right, so... Yeah, so this is... You're part of the not used crew. Two, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Those seven we're not using. Don't be on fire at will. Gun fire at will. Yeah. Where are you? You're a backup? Yeah, you're you're my center backup. Sleep. Better have you over here. Go over there and then we'll sort things some things out. Right. button. Go to that. Uh, you fellas come to here. Hold fire. There's now. Let's only just reassign those again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, I'm not going to use those. Right. This is tower firing. Yep, good. We're all good. I could just charge it, couldn't I? Kind of don't want to send my general in, but I mean, it's just all archers. Our thrice cursed foes are attacking our gates with rams. Yeah, get in there a little bit. But. Should have the extra hit point from the fertility one, so. Slow down a touch. Yeah. These archers should run around now. Let's come back inside for a sec. Over here. Let's have a look. What do we got? Um, can you fellas throw at the Shari, I think? Enemy have the walls. Drive them back. Back in through the gate. Yep, it's all good. They're moving around now. You can walk back out. Okay. okay archers. One, two. Start shooting into here. Is 
the shower blades. Victory is well within our grasp. Time our foe will surely see this and lose heart. One of you shoot into here, yeah, so that's a nice target. So probably you shoot into the Dragon Archers and you change into keep going for the Shari Blades in the middle here. Okay. Come around the back. Get out of the way. Yeah, we've got to kill the general. It's kind of a lot depending on that. Where is he? Should run in and die. Is this him here? Possibly. Uh, archers. Change targets. Make sure you're hitting something in the middle here. Yeah, go for that. Around. Now, if we don't kill the general here, we'll have to use some other troops. Um, I, I could throw on the archers and stuff, but I don't need to throw away units, but they're going to hold here pretty well. I don't want to get you. Can you start drawing some units out? Hopefully, we can draw some units away. Uh, can we do this angle? Archers. Do that. Oh, I can maybe throw the archers in. We're shooting at that. We didn't kill enough of those Ashari blades. That's a bit of an issue. Uh, could you shoot into the Ashari? What's your angle on them? Pretty good. Well, I'm gonna have to use more than half my force. I was incorrect. They have lost half their men. Where's the unit? Finish your ammunition and then get through. I need I need another unit here. Can you fellas get through? Run through. Let's see if I can do it still. Get over here. If we can kill the general. Get over there. Shooting in, yeah. Still got a good line of units here. We might be able to do it still. Push back. Uh, can you push back a little bit? Still some ammunition. The Varag Nobles. Is that the general there? Push through. Keep fighting. Yeah, you're just gonna have to fight then. Let's fight. Fight the best you can. Kind of holding him here. How many of these guys? Well, they got to hold out a little bit more. What is shooting you guys? Shoot the general, maybe? Something is shooting you. The art, the orc archers. I don't know what's shooting. Must be the Varag nobles. Must be. Is well within our grasp. I'm our foe will surely see this and lose heart. Well, I'm bringing down the general, and this all routes pretty easily. Ah. Dang it. Come on. 
I think if the general died early, we we mass route him pretty easily. Um, with with the units that we had here. Is this him here? This one, I think. He looks a little bit different. Yeah, this is. I still haven't thrown in anyone else. Um, <laughs> I'm holding back using anyone else still. Uh, they're out of ammunition. Uh, we lost that unit. That was pretty big because that was keeping the towers going. No. Okay, I'm throwing in some other units. Well within our grasp. Time Send in the cell swords. What do we get down to? 71% though? I mean, it's... If we had any other, if I had probably had two more units, if I had another archer here and maybe another spear here, just holding the line, keeping the towers going, um, I think that's that's pretty pretty winnable with that. Half was a bit of an overstatement, but pretty close to half would have been would have been it. Get in there. Now we're gonna lose more than what I would have. <laughs> not defending anyone. Get over here. Help out. I'm a fraud, silent deputy. You're right. Oh, they want to come out and play? Alright. Get up here, get the towers firing again. Things go over here. I mean, so how I would have played this if I had my whole army, I'd had the cab around the back, probably charge these fellas in and routed to a lot of these archers. Um, and, uh, I mean, the general's not dying, it's a bit of a pain. Can you throw up the horse? No, not the horse archer. Throw up them. Throw up the nobles. One. One left. He's the last guy alive. This one here. Cav, right. where are you at? Come around, charge in. Yeah, see how, see how quickly well everything breaks rushed. the moment the general's the gone? Will surely see this yeah. and lose heart. They run yeah. like children. It's uh, as I said, if the general bro the died earlier, I think we do win that with half the forces. Um <laughs> this is a day ironically of enough. Our foes lie dead or dying, as it should be. Ah, uh, that's easy though. I, I've got if that's if that's the scale of the attacks, I've got I've got enough. I'm I'm figuring it's going to get harder. That's two settlements. There's going to be the Inquisitor attack, which I'm guessing is going to be like hardest. That'll be that'll be some great beasts and some maybe some Olokai, some temple units, probably some Black Uruks. We have prevailed. Pry before destruction, all that jazz. I think, like, I'll I'll use my whole army this time as pretty much the same force, and we'll we'll just wipe the floor with this. So that was an average victory before, and I tried to be try to be cheeky and just win with half my units. So this is pretty much the exact same battle. I think we have one more unit. It's Marauder, maybe. I don't know. There's some cav over there. It's very similar, slightly different composition. 
This is good. I think if I hadn't prepped so well, this would be very difficult to deal with. Oh, we've got walls. Oh my goodness, this is not even... It's, it's not even fair. Okay, everyone, come over here. Righto. Um... <laughs> oh, gee. So, archers, over here. Um, bit of a bit of a hill here. We can stand up here. Okay, so that's three archers there. Still have another archer. Where do you want to go? Maybe over on this wall here. You can fire back down. Javelins, stand up on the walls, give it to them as they come in. Okay, same thing here. I just stand one. I'll keep those towers going. Stand one in reserve on this side. We can throw some javelins. Uh, where's this one? Yeah, over it. Silence Deputy is on Sauron's payroll. Yeah. Yeah. You say you can defend with half your army? Why don't you try that? We'll see how many troops you lose. Uh, stand over here. Uh, get into here. One over there. One over here. Something like that then. Okay. Keep the fire in mercs in reserve, because they're a pretty good unit. Uh, send out the cav. Alright, let's go. Around, throw some javelins, archers on this little crest. Hey man, I gotta make a living somehow on the pie the guy pays well. They're cool. I mean I could I could screw them around even more and send Cap out to to stop um these getting up to the wall, but I kinda want him to get to the wall, honestly. Means we'll be able to get some more more damage done. On the wall, these towers are bonkers good. The enemy have leathers at the walls. Repel the invaders. Send them back whence they came. Javelins are doing a good job. Just thinning them out. Excellent work. Those cursed vipers are at our gates. I need to come around more. That thrice cursed siege tower has four fights with horns made of clay. We are winning the battle. Get in here, fellas. Come on, hurry up and die. Let's go. News comes unlooked for. The enemy have taken our walls. Fire right into the blob. Okay, javelins, away you go. Javelins, away you go. Give it to them. Where are you? What's your angles at? Not too bad, really. Can you fire into, fire into this? Sure. Give it to him. ABM just tuned in. Who will you be primarily fighting this campaign? Mordor, Harad, Groom. I would say that is the that is the uh, the order in which we'll be fighting fighting them. Or very Mordor probably first mainly, and then and Harad and Rune probably fairly simultaneously. I would say. 
What are you guys doing? Just, just fight normally. Don't be, don't be for pegs. All right, here. Who are you shooting at? Red Axeman. Yeah, this could roll. Enemy badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. And welcome in, Bart. Gold and nice estate in ruin in the status of Black Numenorean. Gee, Silent Deputy. That's, are you my advisor? Are, were you my advisor all along? The one who knew so much about, you know, the rewards Sauron would give me if I, uh, if I, if I went with him? That was you all along, wasn't it? It was Silent Deputy all along. I still got a whole unit of spears here. I'm just kind of sitting on them. And you can just get in. Get these Varag Nobles, get in there. Archifier's doing a pretty good job. Lads on the wall are winning. Even the ones over here. I win over time. Oh, here we go. Get over here. Get some shots we can do. Just hold fire on those. Start firing in. Okay, down they go. No, I would never be a spy. Well, Saren did also give you a lot of 1 and 2k donations. He did. Very generously. Not sure what he was playing at. Ah, uh, just charge in. I reckon we can break that. I'll fire, I'll fire. Hit him as well in front. Him on this side. And we break all that all at once. There we go. They run nice. like children. Scour them. Yeah, the chase, get some XP. Chase them down. Yeah. Victory is ours. I'm 247 lost. That's, both righteous yeah. and well deserved. If the other battle wouldn't have gone that well otherwise. if I'd used everyone, but it would have been pretty close. And as soon as you saw, as soon as the general dies, it's just they're low tier trash. They they disappear. Good good job, Stardust man. I have to have a look. Gives me my ten seconds of fun for the day. <laughs> Righto, what's next? Come on. That's, is that, is that, is that it? Is that stage one? Have you got more? Don't kill more my civilians, please. Don't. Don't do it. Don't kill more civilians. That's the most devastating thing. You know how long it takes to build up like 15, or was it like 800, 800 population? It's not, let's not do that. You son of a bitch. <laughs> ah, they're, they're killing my population. More people are angry. So the other 23 hours, 59 minutes and 50 seconds are not fun? No, are you not, are you not living? Um, <laughs> do you not live? <laughs> uh, okay, so... I mean, yeah, we got some lights here. We can, we can get these cab archers over here. Get them in there. That'll be easy. Now I'm assuming... Yeah, give him some armor. Absolutely. A little bit extra. I'm assuming the... Um, the these two settlements? This settlement is looking a little low, isn't it? I mean... Two, three. We've got three archers, three spearmen, plus the three garrisons, two, three cab units. We could just, like... You three. How may I serve? Just duck up here. Yeah, and then we shouldn't have any problems. 
Yeah. How may I uh, that'll be all good, because we have these ones to support this one anyway, so... No problems. Yes. Setting a watch here. At once. Setting a watch here. Yes. Setting a watch here. We move at first light. Thorough taxman. He's, he's almost got it. Um, right. We train. Do some good training there. Or actually negative gold next turn. That's a bit of an issue. Noble one. Guess because we're moving troops out of everywhere. Um, we may need to call it there. <laughs> we're, at, we're at the four hour mark and it's getting quite late for me. And it is, uh, I need to go to work tomorrow. So uh, we made it to the start of, of the Blue Wizard script. Um, I kind of wonder whether I should just hit, I should go over the end turn to get like, I don't want the script to stuff up. It should be fine for a save midway through. Um, I kind of want those, like, the next armies to spawn in. Um, we, we might just go through the end turn. Just to make sure that they do... They do spawn in properly, and then we'll be able to, we'll be able to save and call it there. Um, we're not building here anyway. Why are we not building? I guess I didn't create anything up because we have no money. Right, let, let's go through the, go through the end turn just to make sure everything happens correctly as it should. The enemy lay siege. Those we armies show them no fear. do look slightly bigger. I will defend against this siege with my life. It's interesting it happens on Mordor's turn, but they're like that that movement is happening on Mordor's turn, but they're neutral armies. It's kind of weird. You think it's happy it would be happening on the independent turns, but it's happening on Mordor's turn. Nazgul returned to Dolgador. Some retraining. All good. All good. What do we got? Was that your best shot? That's a bit better. It's got some Varag Lancers. It's got a bit more Nomad Axemen. Yeah, it's a slightly better army. It's got some Black Urics in it. Yeah, so this, this army's a bit better. What about this one? I have nothing to say to you, scum. This army's a little bit better. Um, still think we're fine. A little bit better. It's fine. It'll be okay. So, so they are they are getting they are getting progressively better. <laughs> Answers my questions. More mines. Or free upkeep or something. Get more free upkeep. That one. Okay. Right. -o. A little bit better. Eh, it's a yes, little bit. It's not it's not too much. Cool. At once. Oh, we got no money for our towers. No! One tower left. I mean, we've got one here. It's probably and one there. We're probably okay. <laughs> An honor to serve. I, I wanted one more tower, and then we would have covered all of our territory. Ah. Oh. Yes, noble okay. master. Just yeah, hang out over there. Yes. I guess it's okay. It's it's fine. We don't need one there. Of all the things that matter, it's the towers that matter the most now. Uh, so, if you're watching on YouTube, thank you for joining me for uh, part one of our Varags of Khand playthrough. Uh, next time, we'll, we'll see the rest of the Blue Wizard script. Um, the Blue Wizard are yet to return. So, I hope you enjoyed. Be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.